Uh, yes, good evening. Hello, dudes. I hope you're all doing great today. Hello. It is Sunday. It is Sunday, and Sunday is for gaming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Today we're going to be doing part two of the spear only playthrough or spears only playthrough. Um, the first thing that we're going to be doing is going to grab the tree spear. I've always wanted to use the tree spear. I've always loved how it looked. And now I have a great excuse to actually use it, you know, with the tree, with the spear only playthrough. So I'm going to go down there, grab that, and then I'm going to focus on getting the stats I need. I think the only stat that I realistically need for it at the moment is faith. Um... I'm not sure what profit starts out with at faith. I want to say it's 14 or 15. If I had to guess, it's going to be 15. Oh, it's 16. So I only need two levels. Dude, that's even higher than I thought. So you only need uh, two quick levels to be able to use it. And then we're going to uh, we're going to do that. I'm going to grab some somber stones and stuff, level it up a little bit. I've always wanted to use this spear, but I've never I've never done it. So I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this one. Also, I did put out two more boss guides today, one for Astol, Natural Born of the Void, and Stars of Darkness, as well as one for Electo, the ringleader of the Black Knife Assassins. So if you haven't watched those yet, it would mean a lot if you would go over there, watch those, leave a like and stuff on them so that way they can get helped out. And of course, if you want to use those guides to help you out with your own gameplay, that is cool too. That is cool too, man. The unfortunate side of using the tree spear is it will likely be vastly weaker than the spear I have now because this thing is already plus seven. It's plus seven because that's what patches drops it at. So it just kind of is that way. So I'm going to have to uh, definitely put some stones into it. And I'm pretty sure because it's a I, I want to say it's a more unique weapon. It should use somber stones. So we'll try it out. Let's see who's in chat. Who do I see? Who do I see? I see Cosmic Kitty, Elgrenon, Kevin, Namikaze, Shashwat, Greybeard, Lisa, Richard, Ludozeal, Vix, Martin Norback, Inter, James, Scrabble Checks Mix. I see Ollie, Elden Knights, Setheroth, uh, Anthony, uh, Len Barry, Pedro, Kano. I see Nuggets. I see Wife, Dark Phoenix. It's good to have you back. Hope you've been good, dude. What's up, Esther? I'm not going to lie, I was just kind of moving around without actually looking at the screen. It's weird how much I can kind of... Uh, what, what's the word here? Autopilot this game. Uh, Paper Wing, King Bomer, Sir Khan, Lord Homeless, Eric, Yannikin, what's up man? Moldy Locks, Colton Lambo, Muhammad Ale. I see Hitman Chaos Agent, Crashy Indigo, Christian, Susan, or Suzanne, sorry, Suzanne, hello. What's up, snowboards? I hope everyone is doing great today. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for hitting the like button. I appreciate you all in a big way. Thank you so much. All right, what is this at? 160 plus 57. And this is a 122 plus 33. And 79 to 31 holy damage. Or 79 minus 31. That's really not too far off than what we've got going on right now. Shit, man. I just need to get uh, 18 faith, which is just two levels. So let's work on that and then we'll try it out, okay? We need to kill the things. And if I remember right, the uh, the tree spear itself doesn't have like a damaging Ash of War, but it has like a buffing Ash of War. So it'll make it so it does more damage. So that'll be interesting to see. I think it's called Sacred Order, if I remember right. Yeah, Sacred Order. It's Hedonist. Hello, Hedonist. Hey, thank you for telling me how to pronounce your name. I appreciate it. I always call you HDNST, but now we got Hedonist. Perfect. Perfection. What's up, Noah? What's up, Yasin? Mm -mm. Okay, okay. You're sounding good today? Thank you. Yeah, I... Man, I feel great. Uh, I've barely coughed today. I think the cough is actually leaving. 
and I didn't realize this until now, but I just ran up and down the stairs a few times and I wasn't winded. So I'm, 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 I'm on my way, dude. I'm feeling great, guys. Like, holy hell, I feel good. Ballweenable, hello. What's up, Zudor? Hey, Chris. Love the streams. Hey, thank you for tuning in for the streams. Thanks for being here. What's up, Sean? Hey, Marco. All right, I'm not sure why I chose the slower attack there. I kind of want one of these guys to drop the torch pole, too. Something about, uh, it'd be, you know what? Damn, we could, we could really do something. I could put frost on one of these spears and then use the torch pole to reset it. Oh my God. Oh my God. That could be big. Hey, what's this item? I don't think I've ever picked this up before. Golden rune three. I didn't realize there was an item in this little alcove. Huh. You see, man, I've played through this is my 24th or 25th playthrough, and I'm still learning things. Look at that. Look at that. Grand it's not all that important. But still, it's something. Hey, can you stop locking? That'd be tight. What's up, Turner? Evgeny, hello. Thank you for showing us this great game that made me want to play. Hey, thanks for tuning in for my streams and checking some new games out with me, man. I hope to have you guys for more video game streams in the future. Soon we've got... Uh, I'm going to be making videos on Fire Emblem Engage. And also we'll be streaming for Spoken and Dead Space Remake. It would be awesome to have you guys here for those games too. Hey, Christian. Thank you for 12 euros. I just got... Hold on. Just got uh, MIPS finally. So after an afternoon shift, I just got home. What is MYPS5? Oh, my PS5. Okay, I had to sound that out. I just got my PS5 finally. So after an afternoon shift, I just got home. We'll start my new character in Elden Ring while your stream going in the background. Hope you're doing good after the break. Love you, man. Yo, Christian, enjoy the new PS5, man. That's so cool. That's so cool, man. Good stuff. Good stuff, dude. Enjoy the PS5. Enjoy the new Elden Ring playthrough. Man, you're you're moving up from um, a PS4, I assume, which means you're gonna be you're getting double the frame rates and increased textures. You're in for a treat. That's gonna be awesome. Enjoy your time with it, dude. It's easy to forget how much of an upgrade that really is. But going from a PS4 to a PS5, even a PS4 Pro to a PS5 PS5 is a rather substantial upgrade. Enjoy your time with it, man. That's awesome. We still got the not cult. Yeah, we're not a cult here, man. We are not a cult here, Dark Phoenix. Not at all. Nope. Here's a Shabriri grape for you. Enjoy your time with it. Okay, she's going to go the other way now. So what I need to do is there's a dungeon down here that we can do. So let's go do that. We just need to do it for the runes because I need to get a couple levels on faith i know i do have the talisman to up my faith i just got got it the two fingers heirloom but i'd rather actually get to 18 faith so that way it's just a stat that i have and don't have to worry about the talisman slot because i'm only two away i may as well get those two levels rather than use something to give myself that extra bit of faith especially when the faith scaling on the weapon itself is terrible i think it's d or e What's up, Rixar? Yo, James, thank you for the five dollar super chat. It's for the wives. Mm-hmm. 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 Wife's been playing a lot of Valheim again today. She is currently uh, downstairs. I think she wants to go get, go get some food. Actually, thank you for the fiver, James. I appreciate it. I hope everything's going swell for you, dude. What's up, T Morts? How's it going, Biggie? Hey, Miles, just wondering, how do you not get bored from this much Elden Ring? I change up what I do every playthrough. Um, I don't use the same weapons for more than a single playthrough, essentially. Uh, different weapons create different styles of having to fight things. You could really, um, you, you'd be surprised by the amount of variety you can find by just changing up the weapons you use, uh, the spells you use, the armor sets you use, all that stuff. 
I just find a lot of replayability in the game through that idea. Now, that's not a universal answer for everyone, of course. Some people, uh, some people just don't really vibe with that idea, but it works for me. Especially moments like right now where there's not a whole lot of stuff going on otherwise. I was hoping if I took those clothes off, I would not get poisoned. All right, it's time to put on the Sage set. As one does when they get it. Uh, what about... Yeah, I'm going to throw on the Caden Gauntlets for a little bit of extra armor there. Why not? Why not? Why shouldn't I? Ah, uh, yep. I somehow didn't register that was going to hit me. There you go. Um, here you go. Have this one. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Oh, come on, roll. This guy's, this guy's annoying. Oh, okay, buddy. I guess we're just going to carry on. That guy gets away with all that damage, I guess. This guy's going to get the big stab. You as well. There you go. Josh, you are tarnished. Warrior blood must truly run in thy veins. Hmm. Warrior blood in my veins? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, French dude. How you doing, man? What's up, Brandon? I don't like eating up talisman slots for stats if I don't have to. Same here, Len. That's exactly my, my thought process here, too. Oh, no! Yeah, everything's fine. It could have been bad, but it's actually fine. Okay. He's a little bit better with the spear than I am, I guess. Have this. Have this one. Oh, never mind. Oh, I missed. It's okay. He missed too. This should hit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Am I dead? Put me down, man. Let me heal. Oh, we dead. It's not often I get hit by that, but when I do, I die from it. <laughs> Hey, thank you, Miles. I appreciate it, dude. Hey, Josh, it's Hadron Hadroff. Good to see you, Hadron. The Red Thread. What's up, man? You got me through a lot, and I'm on such a better path now. Just wanted to say good day. Thanks for stopping by, dude. It's so good to see you. I hope the new year's been treating you well so far. We're a couple weeks in. Hey, guys. Uh, we're a couple weeks into the new year, by the way. Just 50 weeks left. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Hope you're doing well, Hadron. Good to see you, dude. What's up, Tom? Last one comes out on HBO tonight. Yeah, me and wife are going to check it out. We usually don't watch new TV shows right away, but this one we're going to. Trying to get this uh, this poise break here. There it is. Man, I'm telling you guys, uh, impaling thrust is OP now. I'm telling you, impaling thrust is actually overpowered in PVE. You can just keep spamming it over and over, and it's just it's such minimal, uh, it's such minimal mana, FP usage. How much does it actually use? Nine. Nine to do not only that damage, but that poise damage, too. Crazy good. All right, let's go up here. G 
Janikin, thank you for the six euros, dude. No message, just the generosity. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it, Janikin. Thank you so much. Hey, Fern, how's it going? What's up, Big Fuzzy Panda? I'm going to use Serpent Hunter or Vike Spear. I'll be using Serpent Hunter against Rykard. Uh, Vike Spear, no, unfortunately, it does madness stuff, and madness is about worthless in PvE, unfortunately. I wish it were better, but alas, it is not. I keep trying to stop by, but Australia time means I'm usually teaching by your streaming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, time zones are rough, man. Hello. But hey, it's the weekend, so here we are now. Hello, it's good to see you, dude. Hey, Vince. Hey, Mythic Blue. How's it going? Oh, What's up, Gara? What a thug, Neon Tama, hello? The fleas. You're off until the 27th? Nice. The nice. Elden Ring TV series thoughts? Um, you know, I feel like it could be pretty good, but the uh, the unfortunate reality of it is, is when it comes to a game like this, from software games have such hard to follow lore. Not to mention it, um, not to mention a lot of the a lot of this game is meant to be something that is surmised by the player. You're basically intended to come to assumptions based on the things that you read. There's nothing actually set in stone unless it literally says it. And a lot of the important parts of this game are not actually spoken or put into writing at all in the game. And so what that would boil down to when it comes to a show is a lot of people just straight up disagreeing with what's canon and what's not. And that would result in conversation around the idea of things not being canon, and that would mean that they're straying from the source material, and generally when a video game based TV show strays away from the source material, people are literally crying about it. And so it would flop because of that. Unfortunate reality. Bren, they give the $10 super chats. No message, just the generosity as well. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I think it, it says message retracted now. I'm not sure how that works, but uh, hey, big fuzzy panda. <laughs> Thank you for becoming a member, dude. I hope you enjoy the emotes you can use in chat as well as my videos, comments, sections. Thank you so much for becoming a member here. Thank you for doing that. Thank you so much. And Bren, thank you again for the 10. Okay, now she will meet us over at Altus Plateau. Let's go up and grab the map here, and then we're going to clear out the western side of Liurnia and gather up all those runes so that way we can get a little bit more faith and use the tree spear. Off to dinner at mom's back later. Sounds good, man. Sounds good, bud. Enjoy your time. I'm doing all right, Kasim. How are you? not gonna do it again just the one time okay i guess so just the one time just the one time all right there we go we got this now we need to head westward let's do it cosmic kitty thank you the five dollars it's my birthday today and wanted to share the generosity hey happy birthday happy birthday that's awesome thank you the five how old are you now? Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy your birthday. Very cool of you. Let's see those feels birthday mans for Cosmic Kitty. Have you watched Elden Ring funny animations on YouTube? I have not, no. Wife is presenting me some type of food. I don't know what it is. Oh, peanut butter and apples? Shit, man. Hold on. And honey? And cinnamon? Mm-hmm. 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 
Damn, that's good. Sounds like diabetes. Nah, man. There is much worse things you can have than this stuff. Hey, Jason, what's up? I love your streams. You're so chilled and humble. Also, the community isn't toxic. Nah, man. What we do here is we just like to bring in everyone from all over the world, no matter what, uh, you know, what their personal life is like. And just kind of have that mutual understanding and grounds of video games, man. With everything going on in the world, I think everyone can use a little bit of a break from, from reality. And that is what my content's all about. Taking a break from the real world woes and just playing video games and having a good time discovering these, these other worlds. We all have that common ground. And that's what it's all about here. Thank you, Jason. I don't, know if you, I don't think you guys can hear him, but Dobby is like howling downstairs. Oh, it was Diamond. Never mind. It's not Dobby. <laughs> you turned 32. Nice. Nice. Oh, this time she's got banana for me. Mm -hmm. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> you guys ever hear the um the wiggles and slipknot crossover <laughs> that song yeah dude it's so good if you if you don't know what i'm talking about you have to write it down look it up later the Wiggles and Slipknot crossover. It is hilarious and catchy. It's so good. <laughs> and every time I think of, every time I think of the song, all I think of is, uh-huh. <laughs> it's so funny, man. Holy shit. Hey, Zonex. Hey, Chats boy. What's the max level you can get in your first playthrough? There is no max in a single playthrough. Uh, it's much slower in your first playthrough as runes do scale up in New Game Plus and beyond, but there is no, like, max to it. Hey, Nimrod, what's up, man? Greedy. I'm not even healing. I'm not even healing. If I die, it's because of greed. Well, write that down. If I die, it's because of greed. I refuse to heal in this instance. Refuse. You gotta hit the man. You gotta hit the man, dude. Very good. Very good. What's up, Ian? How you doing, man? Wiggles just released a vinyl. Oh my God. Uh-huh. What's up, Emo? What's up, Black Crystal? Gonna play with Vikes Frenzy Spear? No, Rumor, I will not be. Unfortunately, that spear is not very useful in PvE. It can do fire damage, which is fine by itself. However, the fact of the matter is, is uh, the actual effect of it, the whole madness, the frenzy part of it, is about useless in PvE. 
very unfortunately. Oh, my bad. Oh, he sure be spinning, though. Who's better at poking, me or him? Turns out it's me, by the way. Um, spoilers. Turns out I am better at poking than Edgar the Revenger is. All right, we need two points in faith, which means I need another about 5,000 experience. Which I have a solution for that. I do indeed have a solution for this, this runes problem that we have in this moment. I do. It's actually pretty easy to counter in PvP as well. All you need to do is wait for the Ash of War. When you see them jump in the air, just roll behind them. It'll miss you, and you'll get a free backstab. It used to be good in PvP, uh, specifically, you know, because people didn't realize the counter. But once you learn the counter, it's incredibly easy to counter. All right, this this troll knight has uh, no poise. keep missing come here man you gotta let me hit you with the pokey stick oh that was a big miss uh oh I almost got one shot holy shit Seems a little upset, guys. Thoughts? Oh! No! 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 Ah! It's fine. Everything's fine. It's been so long since I've actually seen him do that stagger attack there, or that delayed attack. It, it seems to be so rare that he does it. one oh <laughs> i kept getting hit by the same damn thing over and over it's fine it's fine we got him i think we got enough runes i think we got it yeah i lived bitch What's up, my first time? Saving money for a new PC to get the maximum from this lovely game. Thank you for refueling my interest in it and showing some of the best gameplay here. Yo, thank you, my first time. Thank you for hanging out with us. I hope you enjoy the PC when you got it. Do, 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 do. Hey, Noah. What's up, Tyler? Sorry I missed the last... Well, a, lot, a couple of your live streams, I had to put my cat down. She had cancer. I'm sorry to hear that, man. But never apologize enough about not being here. The whole idea of a stream is, you know, to kind of come hang out when you have the free time to do so if you want to be here. I'm sorry about your cat, though, dude. Though, dude uh, I, I'm, I've been there. I know that feel. I'm sorry. Tree Spear Faith and Dexterity. 
Yes, mostly dexterity, but it does require 18 faith to equip it, which we now can. All right, it's time to try this bad boy out. Look at this spear, though. Isn't it awesome? Look at the style of it. That's so damn cool. Now, this is considered a heavy spear, or a great spear, rather. It's not a standard spear, so I'm not quite sure of the full moveset, but we'll figure that out. First things first, though. I need to go up here, and I'm going to uh, use some sombers on it. Wait, am I going the right way? Yeah, here we are. Hey, um, nice no head there, bud. Yeah, it's a beautiful spear, for sure. Oh, this one does a lot more slashing. Okay. Okay. Scoop. Use the sword spear. I love it. The sword spear is a halberd. It is not actually a spear in this game, nor is it a sword. It's basically a sword on a long stick, which makes it a halberd. How often do you stream? Almost every day. Sometimes I take breaks in between games like, or like playthroughs of games. I'll take a day or two off, but uh, most of the time I am live every day. Hey, Miss Bradica. <laughs> drop near? Not quite drop near. All right, here we are. Here's, everyone say hi to EG. Hello, EG. Hello, dude. Well, I... Well. Oh, this uses smithing stones. I thought it's going to use somber stones. Oh, shoot, dude. Okay. All right. Well, that's kind of uh, sending me for a loop. I thought this was going to be somber. I figured this weapon was more unique. Huh. Well, I can only get it to plus five then. But, but... Let's see this comparison. It's already better than the spear plus seven because we get that extra holy damage too. So unless they have insane holy damage negation, which, you know, is a fair amount of enemies in the game overall, but. Okay, those are our basic attacks. What about the heavy? Oh, it's the double thrust. Awesome. And then Sacred Order does a little bit of this. Basically enchants the weapon with more holy. And it glows all golden stuff. Dude, this thing looks awesome. I love this. So cool. I love this spear. What's up, Alexandro? Hey, Boss Wolf. EG is awesome. Completely agree. Yeah, this spear's sick, man. All right, with that in mind, uh, now that we have this spear, guys, I, you know, I, I heard someone down here talking smack. Uh, smack about your mom. But the, for some reason, they only come out at night. And for all another reason, for some reason, they look like a giant bird. They look like an undead Tweety bird. Yeah. What spear is this? This is the tree spear. Yeah, you can buff it with other things, too. Yeah. Like greases. Yeah. A rare gem. Hey, Srebov. Hey, Edmund. When Sekiro? I will not be playing Sekiro. I just had... The, the game offers no, no value in replayability to me. Burbs are government spies? Oh, shit, man. Oh, shit, man. Well, let me hit this side of grace so I have it. Avenge the dignity of Chad's mom. It's a cool armor set. Yeah, this is the sage set. 
All right, I think it'll be right here. Slower than the other spear, so I've got to—I got to get used to that idea. That damage is surreal. Granted, I know these things are weak to holy, but oh, baby. Yeah, that's awesome. The holy damage from this bad boy. Oh, man. Okay, uh, there's a dungeon over here. Let's go do it. Holy Spear Getty. Yeah. What's up, Prof? Pretty sure I cracked an egg and saw this dude once. I <laughs> would not doubt it. What's up, Jake? What's up, Fafnir? Try playing Blood Flame with the incantation. It'll increase your damage. Yeah, maybe you'll go grab that and try it out. A little blood flame on this bad boy could be a good time. And here's the thing. Can you use blood flame on it and then sacred order? I'd imagine one, like, they'll overwrite each other. But if you can get both buffs on it simultaneously, that'd be nuts. Also, let me see the actual damage increase. 157 plus 47 and 101 plus 13. Oh, it still says the same thing. It doesn't actually show any value here. Is anyone would it, would someone do me a favor and actually look it up and see what Sacred Order does precisely? Like what what does it add for us? How do we have 900 people here but only 200 likes? Come on, y'all, drop a like. Oh, you guys are getting called out by wife now. If you guys haven't hit the like button yet. Make sure you do so. It does help out in a massive way. Basically, think about it like this. You likely found the stream because someone else left a like on the video and then you were recommended it, right? You probably saw it on your recommended tab. I'd say a good 90 plus percent of you found it that way. And that's because people leave likes on the stream. Leave likes on my videos and whatnot. So you should def definitely do that too. Pay it forward. Let's try to get some more folks in here, you know? Plus 10% damage to PvE enemies. 100% damage to undead icon... Undead type enemies and prevent skeletons from reviving for one minute. Okay, cool. Oh god, I'm, am I dead? Yep. I was panic rolling. I was panic rolling. I love that double poke heavy, dude. It's so good. Oh, yeah, dude. This spear is great. I'm loving this so much already. Just wanted to watch some Elden Ring. Thanks for tuning in for it, man. Hello there. All right, there are some items down here, so let's uh, let's go grab them. Yeah, I'm loving this spear already, dude. This is gonna be real good. It's a little dark in here. Hold on. There's the Watchdog Staff. You guys want to hear something cool, though? The Watchdog Staff does have the Glintstone magic that comes off of it, right? 
you guys know you know the staff from the watchdog uh the, the you know the earth tree watchdogs it does that same oh shit the arrows it does that same thing but it actually scales off the weapon itself and not your intelligence or not yeah like the, you, if you upgrade the weapon like with somber stones i'm pretty sure it uses somber stones but if you actually upgrade the weapon the uh, the ash of war scales off of that specifically and not any of your stats so you can actually get damage more damage out of it just by leveling up the weapon naturally that's pretty cool parry or dodge which one do you prefer i prefer to parry parrying is very fun for me All right, come on. There you go. There you go. What's up, Green Lobster? Yeah, Vike's Spear is fun. It just unfortunately doesn't do great in PvE because you can't apply the madness to the majority of things. The only things it applies to are other tarnished. So it, you, you can use it against like invaders, you know, like the NPC invaders like Anastasia and Millicent and stuff like that. But you can't use it uh, against anything else. So it kind of sucks. You know how to get the magic scorpion talisman? You get it from doing Celevis' side quest. If Celevis is already dead, you cannot get it. What's up, Mr. Balls? Haven't been up to games lately. I've been learning Master of Puppets by Metallica and Feel Good by Gorillaz on my guitar. And since I'm done, I went to join your stream. Nice, dude. That's a good use of your time. That's cool. Yeah, we like that running attack too, man. That's always good. We like that. Very nice. Is it not all humans? No, I don't think so because you have to think about like the uh, the aristocrat nobles. I don't think it, it it affects them. I don't I don't think it'll affect like the knights or anything like that. At least not that I've seen, unless uh, you know that's changed somewhere, or maybe the weapon just too does too much damage in general for it to apply to them. Maybe. But in my experience in using it, it's only ever applied to other tarnished. Is this Dex Faith? Yes. Hey, Zandrius. Hey, Nick. No, no, corn. it does good damage, but it's just, it's not interesting to use in comparison to other spears. I'm not saying it's, it's not great. It's just the madness stat itself is useless in PvE. It has such a small percentage of actual usefulness that it's just not worth, if you want to use a great spear, there's better choices, is my point. It has the same moveset as the tree spear, for example or very, very similar moveset. And the tree spear could apply a lot more statuses because you can apply greases to it and other uh, other incantation-based spells to make it so it applies actual effects for you in a more effective manner. It doesn't mean it can't be effective. It's just not as effective as, as other choices. Hey, James Stewartson, thank you very much for the kind words. Thank you for joining me. 
spear talisman nearby? I've already got it. It's not really useful at this point in the game until you get better scaling. Okay, uh, usually you roar before you bite. This time he just went for the bite. All right. My dude is toxic. Okay, come on. Oh, I missed the face. Man, I'm not gonna lie, the fact that this lasts for a whole minute is pretty damn incredible. We laid down so much damage using Sacred Order there. Should get a knockdown any second too, I think. Maybe not. Oh, there it is. Oh, not what I wanted. There we go. Neat. Neat. What's the best weapon type? Um, I don't really know if there's like one straight up answer for that. Just because, you know, different weapons have different applications and capabilities based on individual builds. There's a lot more nuance than just saying this is the best. It really depends on how you're building because there's like there's gonna there could be a best spear for dexterity a best spear for faith a best spear for strength and then there could be a best spear for supporting magic there could be a best spear for supporting incantations you know what i mean it's just there, there's so much nuance yeah the poor dragon got stabbed in the eye what spear is this, this is the tree spear I've got runes I should spend. Uh, actually, let's build up a little bit of health. I'm not feeling the pinch on health too much right now, but I should still build it up. Based on this moveset, I might want some more endurance, too.
pain. All right. Let's go grab one of these stone sword keys down here try to recover at least a little bit of what we just used it does require two to get in here so may as well take the one that we can get hey demetrius thank you for becoming a member of the channel i hope you enjoy the emotes you can use in chat as well as my videos comment sections thank you very much for becoming a member thank you very much Let's see what's up kill a sniper how you doing pack hope you're doing great man abdul rahman hello are legendary weapons worth it a lot of the time yes yes i'll be using ancient dragon lightning spear ancient dragon lightning spear is a spell so i won't be using that one of my favorite spears so far um my favorite spears are tree spear and i also enjoy Siluria spear i have used that in a i have used that a little bit before but not extensively Excuse me? Oh, I got the bonk. All right, my man's poised out of his mind, apparently. Okay. All right. I was hoping that would reach, but uh, alas, it did not. Alas. I love that running attack. It's so good. Tree Spear, where is this? I can show you where to get it on the map after this fight. I knew as soon as I rolled, I didn't see the spell come out. It was over. Hey, Kaya, what's up? Okay, where you find the tree spear is right down here uh, at the very end of this broken bridge right here. You basically need to complete Stormvale Castle or go around the outside of it, get into Liernia, take the path down here, and then you can just go right up this way, follow the path all the way down south. And you'll see it in a broken, broken down caravan right there in a chest. I knew as soon as I rolled too early that it was over. That spell does big damage if you fail to roll it right. What's up, monkey? Yeah, any weapon can be effective against Crystallians. You don't have to use strike-based weaponry to do well against them. That's a bit of a, a thing a lot of people do not realize. You do not have to use strike weaponry if you don't want to. You just need to break their poise. Once you break their poise, they pretty much just fall apart. I was hoping that would hit you, but it didn't. I'm sad. 
Just James, thank you for the two dollar super chat. Are the Crystallians parryable? Yes. Uh, oh, well, specifically the spear one is. Um, the one that does magic is not, and I believe the one that uses the discs is not as well. Okay, could you stop with your spells? Thanks. Thank you for the two, James. And you're a jerk. This guy's rude. Allow me to show you. Allow me to show you that you can parry the spear guys. There you go. Pretty much their entire move set is parryable. God, I'm so bad at this right now. What's up, Lord? Hey, Carmen. What spear is that? It's the tree spear. Where'd you find this armor? The sage set you find in a dungeon to the southeast in Lyernia as well. Basically, you follow the water down to the southeast and you'll run into a cave right there. Still water cave. You find this in there. I'm playing poorly right now, guys. Poorly. I'm just gonna run past all these nerds. I'm leaving. Oh. Stop. Stop. It hurts. It hurts us. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take a sip of the juice. I get it, man. I get it. Oh, you're doing that one. All right. Going for max level does it harm the game experience? If you try to go for max level on your first playthrough, yeah, I would say it hurts your game experience. But going for max level after your first playthrough is harmless. Yo, Kim, they give the 200 THB. I happen to be in Bangkok, so you get Thai bath instead of Swedish Krona. Hey, that's cool, man. That's cool. Thank you very much for the 200 THB. I think that's a new one here. I don't think I've seen that yet. That's very cool, man. Thank you. Very cool. Have I done New Game Plus 7? No, I just don't care to. I find it much more interesting to start new characters than to do New Game Plus. Okay, that's done. Let's go back down here.
Would you happen to know the lore of the Crystallians? No, I do not. I'm sorry. Spear has some serious stagger. Yeah, all the spears do. It's kind of crazy. They do some pretty impressive uh, poise damage. Switch from software would add quarter staffs as a weapon class. That would be dope. What about the PS5 problems? What PS5 problems, Bartek? Hey, Pavlito, hello. Watch your gameplay from this month. Really like the way you speak about things. Have you done already some no death runs? No. I, um,. I prefer to keep my gameplay a little bit more on the casual side. I prefer not to stress out about my gameplay. I, um, video games for me have always been primarily about entertainment. And the way I play games is specifically to make sure that I'm having fun too. If I were to try to do deathless or hitless runs, I'm sure I could if I really practice it, but I just don't want to because it's something I know I would stress out about in a very bad way. And it would kind of hurt my experience around the video game. You know? I would certainly not be the greatest at it at first. If I gave myself a good year or so to practice stuff like that, I'm sure I could get better at it, but I just don't care to. They are leaking. Uh, leaking what, Bartek? Use a PS5 vertically, it may melt something. Multiple people have said this isn't real and doesn't Yeah, that that's already been debunked. That's not real. That that's not real at all. That has already been debunked. That's not something to actually concern yourself about. Best armor for samurai. So if you're looking to keep the aesthetic of samurai, you can get the white reed set out in the, uh, the mountaintops area. That's the thing you can do. You can find most of it inside a dungeon, and then you can find Okina's mask after defeating him in front of a uh, a church in the mountaintops. But realistically, um, I would not worry so much about the actual classes in the game, and let me tell you why. The classes mean nothing more than just what you start with. You can actually make any class become anything in the game that you want to. You can start with this. Right now, I started my character as a prophet, and I've not used any incantations yet just kind of give you an idea like you don't have to use the things that you start with those are more just basically giving you starting gear and starting stats any class you start as can be become and use anything in the entire game as long as you level up the stats for it so that's something to keep in mind when it comes to that idea But if you do want to keep that samurai vibe, then I would say the white reed set that you get in the mountaintop is your best bet. There's not a whole lot of like samurai type armor in the game. That's one of what? Two sets? The one you can start with as samurai and then you get that one later. Oh, hold on. You also get the one from Yura as well. That set. I'd say that's more of a Ronin set than samurai, but similar idea. So you have those three sets to work with and that's pretty much it. But trust me when I say, um, you don't have to limit yourself in that regard. I, the reason I say this, you know, if you want to, that's fine. But the reason I say this, because there's a lot of people that do think you have to use specific things for like what you start as, and that's just not the way of it at all. If you do that, that's strictly by choice.
what button to use for running and dodging in your controller. I use all the basic, uh, the very basic um, controls. I don't change any buttons. I do have an Xbox Elite controller that I use, so I have the back paddles, but even those are the basic setup. I've got uh, B and A on the right side, and then X and Y on the left side for the paddles. I leave everything default for the majority of games I play. Can I use Zoom same character in new game? If you're trying to go for new game plus, that's the entire po uh, points. But if you want to start a new, like a new, a new game, like in general, it has to be a new character. Damn, 416 on that. That's crazy. You have a theory about DLC? I don't really have a theory, but I, I know what I want. I would love to see an expansion around the ideas of the Black Flame. Oh my god, your arrows are nuts, sir. Oh, I was hoping you would move closer so I could do that. Come here. Hold on, arrow guy first. Crystal knife. I logged into my account two days ago. All my characters were gone. I logged in today and all my characters are back. I'm so happy. That is really odd, Dark Life. Are you sure you weren't signed into a different account or something? That's really odd. Either way, I'm glad that you got your characters back. Okay. How did that second part miss, though? All right, you know what? You guys are getting the sacred order. Oh, that was so cool. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So if I do one charge, one charge R2 does this, and then if I follow it up with another R2, oh, sick, I love this move set. It gets a quick slash in there, that's nasty. Oh, that's so cool. Dude, I like this spear a lot, this is good. This is good. Hey, Icky Yukai, thank you for joining me while you clean your house, man. Which mine am I at? I am at Raya Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. What spear is this? The tree spear. This is better than God of War or Horizon West. I do agree, but I enjoy both of those games, too. I enjoy them a lot. I'm liking them quite a bit so far, knights. Big sticks are fun. All right, we and this is a uh, another crystallian, the disc one. So far, so good, Kingster. Oh, I rolled early.
Any plans to use Moog Spear? Uh, possibly, maybe. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay, we got that. Uh, I think now we need to go down here and ride our way north. Tree Spear smacks? It does. What spear do you plan on using? And all great spears allow, allow the challenge? Yes, this, this spear I'm using right now is actually a great spear. As long as it has spear in the actual title of the class of weapon, then it's usable. And I plan on using the majority of them at different times. Combo's pretty good. It is. <laughs> the double R2 charged attack, man, is so nice. Surprisingly good damage. Yes, this is a dexterity scaling spear. Too bad I can't use the Ash of War from the back. You have the Gold Scarab? No. I haven't gone to uh, Kaled yet. Let's go grab this just to say we did. Yeah, Moog Spear is a great spear as well. Oh. Why does everyone got to blast me with the glintstone bevels, man? Which is the most badass weapon you've used in Elden Ring? The most badass weapon. Godslayer Greatsword. All right, that was a pretty low stab there, guy. I don't know about that one. That was pretty low. We, uh, <laughs> ugh. that was a pretty low stab there, friend. Any plans for using Silurius Tree Spear? Uh, we might. I mean, it does require a little bit of faith, which we do have, so why not? At least, at least to try it out, you know? Hey, a little bit of advice there, dude. Uh, going around into other channels and advertising your own channel is not going to benefit you much. That's just going to make you look like an idiot. Just uh, something to consider and weigh on while you're timed out for doing that. What's up, Stan, man? How you doing? Everyone say hello to Hayetta. She's over here now. She's going to ask about eyeballs. She's going to ask if these are grapes or if they're something else. And we're going to tell her. They're human eyes. Or no. Don't tell her. You have to to advance her quest. If you don't tell her what they are, then she just kind of stays here forever. And she threw up. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. She'll be fine, she says. Alright, um... I think after this she should teleport away. She'll be to the northern area of Liernia. In order to continue her quest, we pretty much have to talk to Vike. And, uh, it's gonna be spear-on-spear spear action at that point. Hey. I've gleaned the reason the distance is so faint with every Wolvinely. I'm certain now. I've, I'm certain now. Okay, now she's gonna teleport to the north. And with that said, you guys want to go talk to the Turtle Pope? Any Turtle Pope fans? Oh, wait, hold on. We get Ice Spear here. Hold on. We'll talk to Turtle Pope after we get Ice Spear, okay? It's 
4 a.m. where you live? Well, good morning, Anarud. Am I saying that right? Anarud? That the lady related to the ghost after Godric who talks about a lady and grapes? Yes. That is her. Hey, come here. Ooh, how'd that not hit me? Oof. Oh, nice prediction there, bud. Okay, well, this is just awkward. No, oh, you got me that time, didn't you? Oh my god, I saw my life flash before my eyes. Oh, a bear! Ah, my horse, man. Hey, listen, you, you've, you've acquired the help of bears. Something about that doesn't feel fair. <gasps> no, don't die. All right, I have killed your bear summon. Man, did you guys see that? This guy summoned a bear. That's illegal. Oh my god. Camera, please. Alright, there's Ice Spear. And now it's time to go speak to Miriam. You guys ready? Let's go talk to Miriam. Hey, Abdullah. Bears are banned from the chat. I agree. Yeah, Ice Spear is pretty solid stuff. Did I play Steel Rising? Yeah, I have a playlist of it on my channel as well. I did play it on stream. I thought it was all right. Something about using a spear from horseback feels like cheating. Just clearing out swaths of enemies with that. All right, let me grab this Sight of Grace, and then it's time to go speak to uh, Miriam. There's also going to be a boat necromancer in the way. And we can just basically uh, use Sacred Order and do a whole bunch of damage to it. The boat necromancer. You're gonna boycott bears now? That'll teach him. Poor puppies. All right, everyone wave hello to the crab. He hungry. What kind of crab is this? Is this the what kind of crab are you? Are you? Oh, I think this might be a death crab. Nope, it's not. It's not a death crab. It's not. Never mind. Hey, Vasil, what's up? <laughs> a Kodiak moment. I see what you did there. All right, so we're gonna go go up, hit this guy, hop off the horse, and then uh, use Sacred Order. Didn't want to use Sacred Order right away, just because he does teleport away. We do that, and then we can just go beat him up. B. 
banish you from this realm, sir. Hold on, you can go away too. I banish you from this realm. Incredibly good combo. Incredibly good. How much faith do you need to use that spear? 18. Just a meager 18. Oh, and then this guy oh my god this guy up here dude holy crap this dude let me tell you something about this guy he hurts oh you know what just because of that i'm gonna treat this guy a little special i'm gonna give this guy a little bit of a special treatment here you sir Yeah, I should have tried to parry that. That was stupid. Oof. Relax. There you go. That guy gets the special treatment. You can very much so uh, get an easy parry on those guys by just hitting their spear, because er, I'm sorry, hitting their shield. Every time you hit their shield, they'll almost always do the guard counter attack, which is insanely slow and very easy to parry. Look at this. Look at this. This guy had the right idea. This guy had the right idea. He literally just stared at this scene until he died. Look at this. Look at this. What a scene. What a vista. You got Lanedale. You got the Erd Tree. You got the moon. You got, a, a, you know, the Divine Tower back there. The Karian Study Hall. Gorgeous. Yep, never do a guard counter in PvP. Yeah, never do a guard counter in PvP for sure. Your face is better. Hmm. Let's let let's let chat be the judge of that. What do you guys think? What do you guys think is better? That vista over there? Or hold on, let me turn on the nightlight for you. Or or the face. What do you think? Be honest. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts here? Put that thing away. Oh, come on, bro. Come on, bro. It's not that bad. Surely it's not that bad, right? Ate a lemon as a child. <laughs> that face stuck forever. A face only a mom could love? Yeah, literally every mom in the world. That face proves the universe is an accident. Oof.
Oof. Now the kids are crying. Thanks, Jush. <laughs> Miriam. You I welcome I am Miriam. My oh, Miriam, not Miriam. Well, the shattery. It is here by the matter and so the earth. Oh, you are free. I, I don't know why I always mix that up. Unless in which case. Okay, uh talk to me about Radagon. Mm -hmm. And you're going to mention Renala, you're going to spew some stuff about Renala here. Basically, Renala and Radagon were in love, then they weren't in love. Renala lost her minds. And she's not been the same since. She's been obsessed with the idea of birthing children since that time. A perfect child. Because she thinks, I guess, that Radagon left her because she couldn't give him a perfect child or something. I don't know. I don't know how it works. And then, after we talk to him, it is time to speak to a very, very mean man. A bell-bearing hunter. Why are you still here? You need you need to leave. Okay. Okay, come here. Talk to me. Talk to me, buddy. You famed when he under such. You famed when he Yes, very good. Okay, read all the dialogue. Let me look at this. Let me look at that. Let me look at the, Yep, yep, yep. We're leaving. Goodbye. Okay, now we should go away. T more, it's thank you for the five Australians. It's all aboard the Dono train. Please have your tickets or likes ready for inspection. Dude, thank you for the five Australian. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And Jake, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. Hope you enjoy the emotes you can use in chat as well as my videos comment sections. Thank you very much for that, dude. I truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. And that's how you know hit a bell bearing hunter. Very good. Very good. We take those. Suzanne, thank you for becoming a, a member of the channel once again, sharing it the uh, the message to chat. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Thank you for hanging out with me still. And Jake with the two pounds says beat Malakath after hours thanks to your guide. I'm glad my guide could help you out, Jake. That's amazing, dude. Heck yeah. We like that. Thank you very much, Jake. Thank you very much for the two pounds. Thank you. Okay, now that that is done, uh, we need to go speak to an Erdtree avatar to the north. I like a time when you parried him. Most of my playthroughs, I spend time parrying him. That's what I do majority of the time. Okay, right, hold on. Before we go up there, we should probably go do this dungeon on the eastern side. So that way I don't forget about it.
Our tree avatars are probably the easiest bosses all around. Nah, man. Tibia Mariners. As long as Tibia Mariners exist, they, uh, they take the cake there. Everyone say hello to Mr. Rune Bear. Ah! Okay, that was a lot of damage. This man is still chasing me. My God. He's hungry. No, uh, no stamina. Unfortunate. <laughs> he angry. Yeah, he was very upset. Rune bears aren't worth the flasks. They're not worth uh, pretty much anything at any point in the game. They're just there to make you cry yeah that's what they do they make you cry rune bears suck hold on time to pray A lot of the skeletons in this dungeon are actually controlled by these low-level necromancers, so as long as you take them out, you don't have to worry about the actual skeletons themselves. See how when they die, the skeletons do too? Uh, the one exception is this room here with this guy. And this guy. But because we have sacred order on, they don't have to we don't have to worry about them coming back to life. Time for a secret boss. T Mort, thank you for the five Australian. Once again, it says it's fine, guys. I'll just ride this dono train by myself. Hashtag I tried. Hey, I appreciate you, man. Thank you very much. Thank you for the five Australian once again. I appreciate the kindness, dude. Thank you. Come on, then. Come on, then. I just sent her flying. Oh, all right. You're not going to run at me? Oh, it didn't stagger her. Shit, man. You know what? It's worth it. I got the heal off and, uh, Oh god, I'm stuck in a corner. Here you go, backstab. Oh, that's such a great combo.
Okay, I, I... This might be a hot take, but because of the moveset of Spears, because they poke so hard and they can stagger so well, I feel like Spears are a really great hard counter to them. Spears just countered her so bad. That was awesome. Gara, thank you for the $5 super chat. I'll join the ride, T-Morts. More welcome. Hey, thank you for the $5 super chat, dude. Josh Keller with the $5 as well. Says choo-choo. Oh my god. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Gara. Elgranon with the $2. Says Dono Train. I'll take seat in the back. I prefer to sit in the back too, man. Me too. <laughs> thank you very much, Elgranon. Diclones with a nine months of membership. Does my ticket work for this train? Always. Always. I hope you've been well, Die Clones. Thank you for the nine months of continued membership. Miss Bradica with a $5 super chat as well says, I'm in just because it's Josh <laughs> taking names using spear only. Coffee's on me. Hey, thank you very much, Miss Bradica. Thank you very much. Hey, so the bad news is, though, is these skeletons can actually uh, climb that ladder. I forgot about that. That's a thing. But it's fine. We're out of there. Thank you very much, Ms. Bradica and Die Clones. Celia, thank you for the $5 as well. If given the choice, would you rather try to boop a rune bear, Aldrich Beast, or Skeleton Dog from Dark Souls 1? Also, hello, Juice, who does the smooshing. <laughs> thank you very much for that. Uh, Celia, I think if I had to boop any of them... Aldrich Beast. Just because out of the three of them, I think I would find them the most intimidating. And something about booping them just makes them not so intimidating anymore. Boop the snoot. Thank you, Celia. And Christian with the 12 euros says, let's get on that train. Hey, thank you for the 12 euros, Christian. I appreciate the generosity a lot. Thank you. Did I not pull the lever? Oh, shit. Guys, I, I, I went all the way down there and I never pulled the lever. I'm an idiot. Thank you all very much. Thank you all very much for the dono train. I did open the door down here, though, so there is that. You're summoned by a necromancer, so you're just going to come back. I don't think this guy has a necromancer, though. Yeah, I got all the way down here, and I, I I did pull a lever to open the door, but not, like, the main door. <laughs> What's up, Snakey? How's it going, dude? How have you been? Aw, you just crushed your own little crab guy. Had a brain fart? I did. It's not the first time I've done this in this dungeon, either. Okay, that hurts a lot. I'm leaving. Your Elden boss guides have helped me with bosses on Dark Souls 1. Toast rats for the win. Hey, I'm glad that it works there too, man. Toast rats, baby. Give me them toes. I think it's a cemetery dude, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, these guys are relentless right now. Are you seeing this? All right. I just walked into that like a dummy. Oh. 
All right. Please don't eat my brains. Please don't eat my brains. Well, you're eating my brains. I thought maybe poking them would stop the animation, but uh, it didn't. No, my brains, not again. That might kill me, actually. Oh, I lived. Oh. How does that miss? All right, I'm just gonna... There you go. My God. That was a messy fight. Well, I don't have much, much brains left in me after that one, guys. Oh, that's good, Snakey. I'm glad it's mostly in the right direction. Things with me have been all right, man. Hanging out, doing streams, making videos. Having a good time with it all, you know? I don't have much brains left after that fight, guys. Yeah, yeah, seven intelligence. Yep. Seven intelligence. Wouldn't be bad if our character was a D&D &D character, but uh, in this, it's pretty terrible. Luckily, it was mostly empty space up there to begin with, so we got that going on for us. Okay, okay we're gonna do a Bloodborne playthrough. Eric, I have a Bloodborne play playthrough on my channel already, man. I have that on my channel already, and I'll likely play it again in the future, too. But that does exist already, so don't be afraid to check it out. You guys got to keep in mind that uh, I have a lot of past streams that are already on my channel. You're free to check those out whenever, as well as I make a lot of videos, too. My channel is more than just current live streams. I've got so much on my channel that a lot of people don't realize is there. So make sure you check that out. When I say I have hundreds of videos, I mean I have hundreds. All my past live streams become videos as well as I do a lot of off-stream playthroughs of stuff too. I'm dying. Not gonna lie bro, sounds like an NPC, says the man typing in chat. These arrows are large. Carmen, thank you for the five dollar super chat. Wait for me. I am lost in the hero's grave. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hope we can find your way out, Carmen. <laughs> I'm a bot. Yes, me too. Hey, Nimrod, what's up? Where'd I get that spear? You get the spear in Southeast Liernia. Right there at the number two. Basically, when you get to Liernia, you can just go up this little uh, slope and follow the path all the way to the southeast. And you'll find it in a chest in the back of a broken caravan right there. Were you able to transfer all your Twitch videos over to YouTube? Uh, Twitch does things a little bit differently where they only save videos for two months. So unfortunately, no, that is not a thing. I have done playthroughs over on Twitch where I would record on my side and upload them to YouTube, though. Some of my older stuff that does exist on my channel in that format. What's up, Newton? How you doing? Hopping in before you go to bed, right on, man. Thank you for coming by. Any advice for a samurai playthrough? There's a large amount of katanas in this game that are highly underutilized. 
like the dragon scale blade, the serpent bone blade, those are both very, very effective and underappreciated items in this game. Don't be afraid to make use of them if you find them. Outside of that, man, I mean, realistically, uh, samurai playthroughs are very common. I would say one of the more common ways of playing this game. So there's, you know, it's very possible to get through the entirety of the game just fine with that stuff. So don't feel like you're doing something uh, wrong or anything like that. You're, you're, you're able to get through the game just fine with that stuff. Just like any other like type of playthrough though, just make sure that you have the patience to understand that death is a part of the game. And sometimes things will take you a while to get through, but all the same, you'll be able to make it through if you really, if you really take in how to do it. All right, admittedly, very greedy attack there, but it's fine. Give me that stuff. Thank you. Let's do a bit of a skip here. I need you to really jump up there, dude. Okay. Good job, horse. You're doing great. You're doing great. Ah. No, no, Torrent. This is not exactly how I had, you know, wanted this to go turn we jump no torrent listen you gotta there you go good job there you go loving that double hit yeah the double hit's great joe fun fact dragon claw great hammer lightning damage scales with dexterity making it better as a quality weapon than a strength weapon interesting Interesting. Yeah, Torn had a little performance anxiety there. All right. The same rule applies just like Lord of the Rings. As long as the Eye of Sauron does not see you, it cannot make you go crazy. So the secret here is to use the trees and rocks to make it so it doesn't actually make eye contact with you. And then when it goes away, you move up. See? What's up, Q8? And now, there are six frenzied monks up here. When you kill all of them, they will never respawn again. Which means that you'll never see the Eye of Sauron again as well. See? It goes away, and you're fine. And they'll never respawn. You don't have to worry about that ever again. Hip hip hooray.
possible to finish it with the Uchi Katana? Yeah, you can you can finish this game with literally any weapon in the entirety of it. The game is designed specifically to allow you, the player, to play exactly as you want to. And where's that Sight of Grace? I always get lost from this angle. There it is. Hey, Rags, what's up? This is the Tree Spear. It's awesome. Oh, that everyone agrees as the Eye of Sauron? Yeah. Uh, that sucks that that missed. Alright. I guess we're just getting beat up by him by a bunch of frenzied flame monks now. This is fine. It's fine, dude. Yeah. Yeah, everything's good. I wasn't panicking. You were panicking. Right here, we have Shabriri's Woe. Hey, Donna, what's up? What type of games do you like to play? All sorts of stuff, man. I have a, I have a pretty wide... Um, how do I say this? I enjoy a wide variety of games, a very large amount of different genres. Kind of give you a taste of what's to come in the future. I'm going to be playing a little bit of Fire Emblem Engage. I'm going to make videos on that. And then on stream, we're going to play Forspoken and Dead Space Remake. Looking forward to all of this stuff. And that's just stuff coming in the next few days, uh, the next couple weeks that I'll be playing on stream and on videos. Just keep your eyes and ears peeled for all of it, yeah? A plethora of games, yeah. It certainly can be, Mason, yeah. Alright, everyone say hello to Vike. This is going to be an uh, interesting fight. You going to play Lies of P? Yes. No FIFA? Nah, not really into sports games. Okay, he's got poise like crazy. It's going to be a battle of the pokes. That actually reached you? Crazy. Okay, I'm the better poker. Yes. I'm better at poker than Vike, guys. The old hokey pokey. Please recommend me from software game to play first. I want to get into the Souls games this year. Haven't played any Souls games at all. Uh, man, I'm going to be honest with you. All of them are worth it. Uh, if you've played Elden Ring, then I would say the most similar experience that you can get is going to be Dark Souls 3. However, uh, despite Dark Souls 1 and 2 not aging very well to, like, modern standards, they're still very good and worth playing if you can kind of get around that idea. They do feel a little bit clunky to today's standards, but they're still very good games, and I can I can attest to saying that they're worth they're worth your time. Uh, the Demon Souls remake is very good. I wouldn't say there's a whole lot of value in playing the original Demon Souls because that's clunky beyond belief. Uh, but the the remake is very good. And um, 
Sekiro is good too, but it's very different. It's a very different approach to that style of gameplay. So it's still worth your time, but just expect it to be very different than all their other stuff that you've seen before. Realistically, you could start anywhere and have a good time with all of it, man. You really could. All right, I think that's everything here. We could do go. Let's go do Karian Manor real fast. Play any MMOs, and if so, what's your favorite? I used to play a lot of MMOs growing up. I don't really play them anymore. Uh, growing up, I played things like RuneScape, Tibia, Guild Wars, uh, EverQuest, Star Wars Galaxies. Oh my God, Star Wars Galaxies is cream of the crop when it comes to MMOs. Yeah, I've played a lot of MMOs, but I don't really play them anymore. Thoughts on Bloodborne? Bloodborne is an excellent game as well. Bloodborne is very, very good and definitely worth your time too. Hey, Gen X, what's up, man? What's up, Redneck? How's it going, dude? Someone banned Juice right now? Why? What did I do? Actually, don't answer that question. I, I probably deserve the ban. <laughs> That's a trap. I think there's another trap over here. Yeah, that's a trap as well. Oh, we almost triggered it. I mean, we did trigger it. We almost got hit by it. Another trap. Another trap. Hey, Lauren, what's up? Hanging out, hanging with the not cult while playing Solasta. Nice. Nice. What's up, buddy love? All right, guys, let's go get the Sword of Night and Flame. And while we're doing this, if you haven't already, make sure you leave a like on the video. Okay? It helps out in a big way. It helps out in a big way. Basically... Uh, what you what happens when you leave a like on the video is it helps support my channel on YouTube by recommending my channel to more people and So I really appreciate you doing that and of course if you haven't already if you enjoy single-player games make sure you subscribe We play a lot of different video games on stream as well as I make uh, let's play style videos off stream as well as I make a lot of boss guides and tips and stuff for that for all sorts of different difficult games too. I know it's cringy when a YouTuber asks, hey, leave a like and subscribe. Yeah, do it. But we wouldn't ask if it didn't help out so much. And it's all free, you know? So I appreciate you guys doing it for me. I just wanted to poke one of these hands. Hello, friend. Oh, my God. Buddy Love, thank you the $5 super chat. How about we hit the like button for the man with the big stick? Giggity. This big stick? This one? Thank you the fiver, Buddy Love. I appreciate it a lot, man. Uh, Vera, if you want to see my PC, you can type exclamation mark specs in chat, and it'll give you a link to my Twitter account where I have a short video of it as well as a list of all the specs inside of it. I do not need to go that way. What did you think of Valheim? Valheim re, uh, reinvigorated my love of survival games even more so than Grounded did. I think Valheim is the single best survival game on the market right now. It's so good. It's such a great game. I'm very happy that I picked it up and played it. It's awesome. The full smoking bar. They give it $20, man. Is the tree spear weapon all playthrough? No, it's just what I'm currently using. I'll be using a few different spears throughout the entirety of my playthrough. A couple that come to mind are Silurius spear, as well as I want to try out the death ritual spear later on too. I also want to try to get my hands on um, the clay man's harpoon. That could be fun to use too. No. Oh, 
Well, I guess that's a thing that happened. I guess that's a thing. Hey, you were the 20 full smoking uh, bar. I appreciate it, dude. And Gen X with nine months of membership. Oh, look, it kept my membership time. It looks like it did. Thank you very much for that, man. Thank you for keeping it going for nine months. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Why did that not do the critical hit there? Oof. I hit R2 instead of R1 there. Whoops. If I hit R1, I wouldn't have gotten hit. We are banning gravity. Yes, let's please get rid of gravity. It's like my main, my main killer in this game anymore. Do any randomizer runs of Elden Ring? I haven't at this point flipped Sid, but I would like to in the future. No feather cape in this game. Nope. I'll be checking it out, Sanket. Yeah. I'm not sure how I'm going to like it, but I'm going to check it out and see how it goes. Yeah. Man, this thing just, it really does not give enemies a whole lot of chance to recover. The fact that we can just keep poking and poking and poking, it just, they're so, this weapon could be overwhelming for enemies. I love it. Let's get started. Christopher, thank you for the $10 super chat. It says, thank you. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you for the 10. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the 10. All right, come on. Okay, I got a little bit greedy there, admittedly, but man, it was just, it was going well for me there. Well, phase two Loretta's already almost dead. This spear is incredible. What's up? Wish you could put armor on Torrent. That would be fun. What's up, Yubel? How's it going? Uh, Newton, if you're leaving, have a good night, dude. I'll see you later. Thank you for stopping by. What is Loretta's lore? She is, uh, she was appointed as a protector of Mikola's Hay League tree. That's pretty much all I know about her. Stuck on Malekith right now. I do have a video on my channel, um, as a bit of a guide. I have a whole lot of boss guides for Elden Ring on my channel that if you ever get stuck on any bosses, I recommend checking them out. I've got a few more on the way, and I'm going to be making a, a guide around uh, Radagon and Elden Beast, as well as Melania soon, too. Those are pretty much the only two that I haven't covered yet out of all the videos I have. I 
Yes, Sankia, I'll be checking it out. I'm not sure how I'm going to like it, but I'll, I'll be checking it out. See how it goes. Shane, thank you the five Canadian. Thanks for the com content and community. Been going through a tough time and your stream has brought me comfort and rekindled my joy for playing Elden Ring. You rule, man. Listen, Shane, dude. Listen, man, I appreciate you taking time out of your day to hang out with me. And whatever it is that's got you down, whatever it is in this tough time right now, I hope you power through it, dude. Unfortunately, unfortunately, life can have a lot of down moments, but, but it can also have a lot of great moments, too. It can take a lot to get through it, but you've made it this far, you know, you can keep it going, dude. Keep that shit going. Thank you the five Canadian, buddy. I appreciate it a lot. Redneck, thank you for the five. What is a sword but a long-bladed, short-shafted spear? What is a sword but a long-bladed, short-shafted, short-hafted spear? Is this a riddle or... What is a sword but a long-bladed, short-hafted spear? I don't know. Again, Akarian, I'm told I will... I don't know. Together. Together. Did you guys know that EG, EG is actually Rykard's brother? You can tell by the way they both say, together. Let us give all together. Together. And that's not actually true. That's just, that's just me memeing. It's not actually true. Don't take any stake in that. Well, I'm situated. The Eternals. I'm planning to go. See if I can. I'm going to see if I can. Don't keep me waiting. I'm see if I can get me weight. Oh, I see. I see what you're going for here, Redneck. You're saying, what is a sword but a long-bladed, short-hafted spear? I, you're stating a fact. I, I'm misinterpreting this. Yes. I yeah, said, pretty much. I, I don't know what it's since I, uh... If you think about it, if you look at this spear, if you look at this spear, like really look at it, if you were to cut it off at where the leaves stick out just below the, uh, the flare, below the blade... That would essentially make a sword by itself. You know? Right where those leaves are. Right there. Those leaves right there. Right in your face. From there, it could be it could be it could be the tree sword, man. It could be a tree sword. I reside in I reside in a tower close. Shut the hell up, dude. That guy's annoying. Any other Celibus haters in the chat? I reside in a tower nearby. No one gives a shit, man. I love that they gave him like a snobby, annoying voice too. He's just so easy to dislike. <laughs> yes, quite. My name is Celibus and I reside in a tower nearby and I am creepy because I have puppets in a basement. Yes, quite. That's my Celibus impression. What's my favorite ending? I generally say uh, Flame of the Frenzy just because it has the most to it. But I am of the opinion that there are no good endings in this game. And I don't mean good as in like good versus evil. I mean of like quality. For me, I gave this game a final score of 9.5 out of 10. I would have given it a 10 out of 10 if the endings were worth a single shit. But they're not, so. You know feels bad going for Radon now no not quite yet I'm just doing this because I'm in the vicinity stuck somehow didn't get hit by that ah drink the juice man
Okay, well that's illegal. Can someone report the dragon for teleporting? That's cheating. There you go. Now Adula will fly away. We'll encounter her again later on. In the meantime, let's go behind the manor. There's actually an Everjail back here that most people don't know about. Write this down, guys. There is an Everjail back here. Now you gotta do what you gotta do, Bergsterama. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, the nerve of him talking down on us when he sounds like that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's frozen armaments. So you can make your weapon nice and cold. Uh, Flip, when the DLC comes out, I'll be doing a uh, character that I already have. So that way I can just hop right into it. And I will be using uh, my Black Flame character. My Black Flame Monk. Hey, forward. Royal Grave Everjail. It's just one of the uh, Alabaster or Onyx Lords. Oh, my poise breaks. <laughs> this poor man. This poor man. And that's why you build your poise, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that's why you build your poise. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, that's where you get meteor, right? <laughs> that is a violation. Yeah, I feel like that was kind of rude. There's also a red wolf down there, but I just don't really care to go down that way. Screw those things. It's bad enough we have to fight a couple. Do you have a full set of level 2 padded armor in Valheim? Nice. Very nice. We like that. Okay, uh, that is all finished. I think we go do the academy now, guys. Oh, you know what? We can go give uh, Hayeta the uh, thing, too. She's not going to be right here, is she? Yeah, she's going to be at the church to the north. So we can go do that real quick, and then we'll do the academy. Yeah, that, that poor boss had literally no chance. Poor guy. Well, that means you're ready for the Mistlands. Your level? I just got to 49. I think. Yeah, 49. <laughs> Maybe so, Cranorium. Gonna fight Radagon this stream? No. We'll be fighting the Red Wolf of Radagon, but not Radagon. Was that illegal? Yes, that was very illegal. Um, I bullied that boss. It's not very much, very nice of me. Okay, right here we have part of Yura's quest as well, which this is the you know, a quest that leads to fight against Eleonora to get her pole blade. 
as well as the uh, purifying red crystal, which you definitely want to have in your inventory for when you fight Moog later on in the game. We must help Yura. Am I going to play RE4? Yes. The RE4 remake? Absolutely. What button is to call horse? Uh, GTA, you have to use the, uh, the, the spirit calling ring, whatever it's called. I'll show you after this fight. Man, just let me. There you go. What happens if Yura dies? Then you end up fighting this uh, this person solo, and then you speak to Yura all the same after. Because as you can see, we're actually invaders of this world. Martin, have a good night, dude. I'll see you later. But no matter what, whether Yura lives or dies in that fight, he'll still be right here for you to speak to. Okay, in order to... Hold on. There we go. In order to summon the, the horse, you have to use the Spectral Steed Whistle. You can put this in your pouch. You can also put it in uh, the same spot for your flask if you want to put it there. But the whole idea is you just need to use that in order to summon the horse just like that. Also, any video game developers out there, please do what this game does and make it so if you summon the horse that you automatically mount it as well. You would not realize how big of a quality of life improvement that is over other games until you experience it. But man, is it nice to just be able to call the horse and instantly be mounted on it. Definitely do that in future games too. Show what Raptor of the Mist does. It's an Ash of War that um, basically you jump up in the air and stab your enemies. In the Windsor location, Yora will be crazy. It's no longer Yora at that point. That's uh, Shibriri taking over his body. Was the best Ash of War in your opinion? There's a lot of good ones. Hey, it's really hard to say. It just ultimately depends on your build. For example, the uh, the arcane based one on sort of uh, what's it called? Mariah's Executioner Sword is very good, but only if you build around it. Another great one is Godslayer Greatswords. Um, what is it? Queen of the uh, Queen of the Black Flame or something like that. I can't remember the exact name. Flame of the Black, uh, Flame of the Queen, Black Flame of the Queen, something like that. It's also very strong if you build around it too. But also, it depends on the user, too, because there's some bad moments to use Ashes of Wars and then brilliant moments to use them. There's a lot more nuance to this game than just saying one singular thing is the best. Any viable assassin builds revolving around dual-wielding daggers? Um, kind of. Like, you can play the entire game with daggers. I've done it. Specifically, dual-wielding daggers. I mean, I've done that a couple times myself. It's a good time. Um, 
But as far as being an assassin around it, I mean, like, you can sneak up and backstab things, but even then, like, event, like, things in the area are going to see you eventually when you do that type of stuff, and you'll have to fight them straight up at that point. You can definitely do the assassin idea better in PvE than you can, in, or PvP rather, than you can in PvE. Just because there's things like the, uh, the veil that allows you to disguise yourself, the mimic's veil, as well as the other veil that allows you to stay hidden if you're crouched, stuff like that. There we go. All right, I want to uh, look around. Does anyone remember exactly where Spectral Lance is? I know it's somewhere in the Academy, but I can't remember exactly where it is. Maybe it's this one down here that I hear. Is it this one? Is it you? Are you Spectral Lance? Yes, you are. Perfect. Beautiful. I definitely want to try out Spectral Lance as well. Spectral Lance is a very fun Ash of War. I want to try it out on Spears. Sprocket, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. I hope you enjoy the emotes you can use in chat as well as my videos, comment sections. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. As well as the $20 Super Chat Sprocket. Oh my god. Thanks for always bringing the good vibes. Hey man, that's what it's all about. Video games are meant to be a good time, and I like to portray that through my through my gameplay as well. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I do my thing. And thank you for becoming a member and the $20 Super Chat. That's incredibly nice. Thank you, dude. Thank you very much. What's up, Lux Liltz? Playing Dual Dagger, stuck at Godskin Duo for two weeks, not having a good time. Um, I did release a video on the Godskin Duo that you can use as a guide. Uh, that's why I made that video, to try to help people out. So I would recommend checking that out. And uh, if that doesn't help you, then I would say what it comes down to for Godskin Duo is if you struggle with it for too long and you want to get past it, then make sleep pots or sleep arrows and use those. You can basically put one of them to sleep and then just focus on the other one. They'll literally stay asleep for like a minute and a half, two minutes, if not longer. They're very weak to sleep, so that's something to consider. As long as you don't hit them while they're asleep, they won't wake up for a while. The casting on that is very interesting. The projectile seems to go just as long as they get the tiniest little bit of forward momentum on the cast. Of the actual staff, I mean. Interesting. Thank you very much, Sprock, and I really appreciate it, dude. What's the one laser beam called that memes bosses? It's like the moon beam or something. That would be Comet Azor. You get that directly from Azor in the uh, Mount Galmir area. Behind a demi-human queen. Can you apply Ash of War on this spear? I'm not quite sure. I want to say yes. As it doesn't seem to be a unique weapon.
Look at this guy. You think they would try to like get a line of sight on you? <laughs> hey Kundinya, how's it going? On that guys my roll timing is terrible right now worth your favorite weapon in this game it's pretty close between god slayer great sword and uh mariah's executioner sword i enjoy those both a lot what's up iron I had an easier time with Godskin Duo than just the Godskin Apostle at Kaled Divine Tower. The Godskin Apostle at Kaled Divine Tower, to be fair, is the single most difficult Godskin Apostle in the whole game. Uh, the uh, the Godskin Apostle there has more health and does more damage than any other single Godskin Apostle in the entirety of the game, including Godskin Duo. You have no poise, sir. No poise? Did I get that item? Did I get Radicon Icon? Yeah. Kind of drawing a blank on it. Alright, we don't need that item over here. We do want this, however. This is where you get the magic wet blade right in the right in this area here. Don't let that guy shotgun you because he does have that shotgun glintstone spell, whatever it's called. The glintstone wet blade. Not very good. Do, do, do. Hello there. Hey, Daniel, what's up? Crab! Man, even heavy armored enemies get broken by this spear so easily. Crazy. Yeah, I'll be fighting different death birds throughout the game, especially the one in the mountaintops, because it has the death ritual spear. Definitely want to check that out. No, there you go. This is a stone sword key. We want that. 
Don't just skip out on that. But also don't let this guy hook you either. That guy is better than Thresh in League of Legends. All right, it's time for the infamous Moongrum. Now, the secret to Moongrum, guys, if you are using melee, is to do jump attacks during its first phase. He will constantly parry you if you just do basic attacks. In fact, I'll try to provoke a parry. Come here, Moongrum. Parry me. Parry me. Parry. Parry me. All right, why are you not parrying? Parry me. No? I'll just break your poise then. Parry me. There it is. <laughs> and so that's why you don't want to do basic attacks against Moongrum. So the secret to this fight is while he has his shield out is to just do jump attacks. It makes it a lot easier. You can also lure him to the uh, the giant falling ball and the ball will crush him or you can lure him over to the elevator and make him fall down the shaft. But yeah, do not let Moongrum parry you because then you will become dead just like I did there. My man is a monster. LOL, he said shaft. Harry, this casual. Phase two. He will put his shield away. However, he also will start doing Karian Piercer, which does big damage. You need to be aware of that. Be very careful. Why do you keep trying to drink the juice? You're all out of juice, man. Jerk. Okay. Uh, Maddox, I'm just kind of going around defeating things nearby casually. I'm not really on any one set path. I won't be 100%ing the game by any means. But, um, you know, if I'm near something, I'll complete it generally. I am skipping the rooftops here just because I don't like the rooftops area here. But, yeah. He had juice withdrawals. Yeah, he did. The juice. All right, guys, I have a question for you. I have a question for you. First, have you hit the like button? If not, you should. And the second thing is, what would you do? What would you do if you walk into this library, okay? Just for the, just, just entertain this thought. You're walking into a library. You're, you're looking around at all the books, all the grand architecture, because it's an old library like this. You see all this? Look at it. This is great. And then some kid tries to bite your ankle. What do you do? You hear the, like, listen, listen here. Yeah, a little. Why is this guy trying to bite my toes? What is this? You would ask for their Wi-Fi password. Hey, kid, that just tried to bite my toes. What's the Wi-Fi password for the library? Little Culver. I'll soon birth thee anew, a sweeting, fresh and pure. Are you okay, Ranala? You heard about the toe strats? Yeah, he thinks you're the fire giant, so he's trying to go at the toes.
Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Sleep tight. Hey, that was uh, two phases, by the way, without bleed or frostbite or anything like that. So this weapon holds up really well. It's only plus five. And there was no actual, like, extra damage burst there. That's really good. Oh, my beloved, have no fear. I will hold thee. What do you think is the biggest mystery in Elden Ring, if there is any? Uh, the biggest mystery of known characters, I would say, are we sure it wasn't Mikola that convinced Moog to take him to his uh, palace? Right? Because Mikola does have very powerful uh, capabilities of persuasion. And then the, no the other thing is, who the heck is the Glomide Queen? Where is she? Where is her part in all this? Hey, I'm glad that you got through it. SRDZL. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Is it Senor Diesel? Either way, that's cool. Congrats on making it through the fight. The last queen of Caria, Renala of the Full Moon. Renala of the Full Moon. And the majesty of the night she conjureth. Oh, come on. Illegal. You're doing the moon thing again already? Weird. Let me heal up. All right, dude, stop. Stop it! What do we got? The Wolfy Boys? The Wolfy Boys! Worth. Hope Swan Dragon! Man, you had uh, quite the range on that jump, Dragon. My God. Relax. Come, oh, it's giant. oh, it's you again. Someone told the giant to go away. Thank you. Ay, yeah, man. Come here. I 
I hate that that knocks you down so easily. Come here. No, no, I'm not done with you. Come here. There you go. Might be a good thumbnail there. That might be a good thumbnail there. Maybe. Where did he flee, my sweeting? They're gone and they're never coming back. Alright, 65,000 runes. Let's build up that health because up next is Kaelid Hours. Um, first things first, we should probably go see about upgrading our spear if we can at all. See about that one. Oh, right. Ensha is here. It's been a while since I've been here, guys. Right. Ensha has some trash to talk here. Right. Right. Yeah, this is still the tree spear. Yep. Sprocket, have a good night, man. See you later. Why does Ensha hunt you? If you go to the Albanoric village and you get the uh, the first half of the Haley Tree Medallion, then it makes Ensha upset because he's actually the one that went to the Albanoric village and tore it all up looking for that very medallion. You thought you'd the fell in and because you have it, he turns his sights on you. And then after you defeat him, this is where the famous line, Find the Albanoric woman, comes into play. Because that's, uh, that's what Sir Gideon Offier says. Find the Albanoric woman. Yeah, King, I'm glad that my guides can help you out, man. Think of replaying Dark Souls 1 or Dark Souls 3, which is easier for Platinum. Uh, I don't know. They both have quite a lot of grinding going on. Multiple playthroughs are required to actually get uh, all the trophies and achievements. So I would say uh, whichever one <laughs> appeals to you the most, just because they're both kind of difficult. They're kind of grindy. Shoot, uh, we need one more of those. Let's just use all of them. Talking about Latena, isn't he? Uh, yes. Back already. No matter. All right, it's Kaelid hours. Actually, before we go to Kaelid, I think we do this dungeon here, so that way we can get everything sorted out that way. We can also grab ourselves the uh, smithing stone bell bearing, so that way we have it. So let's do that. But before I do that, I need to take a quick break, guys. I need to stretch my legs, grab some water, and pee. I'll be back in two minutes or less, okay, guys? If you haven't already, make sure you leave a big like on the video. Your support means so much to me. And of course, subscribe to the channel for all sorts of video game content. I do a lot of streams almost every day, as well as I release a lot of videos. It'd be great to have you guys here for more. I'll be right back.
All right, guys, I'm back. I didn't get to use the bathroom, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this dungeon, and then I'll take another quick break afterward. <clears throat> so let's go do this. Didn't want to leave you guys hanging for too long. You still in this realm, bro? What do you mean, Cronorium? I just finished up the academy. Who was on my mic? It must have been Daz. Oh. Alright, let's see here. What's up, Frazzers? I can't open my map. Where the hell am I going? We want to go this way. There we go. There we go. This is my map right now. When P A S M R. That's illegal. <laughs> That's illegal. At least I hope it is on YouTube anyway. What's up, SF7? How have you been, dude? It has been a while. How you doing? You guys want me to find Mark on a psychopath? Uh, both Marika and Radagon have their faults. Yeah. I guess that's just, like, that. that's the way this game portrays godhood in general. It's just a matter of, uh, they have so much power, that they can just kind of do whatever they want and, you know, bend everyone else to their will. That's just the nature of it. What's up, Aaron? How you doing? I had to come support this year's content creator of the year. Cheers. Hey, Aaron, thank you for the kind words. Thanks for joining me again today. My times have beaten the game overall. This is my 24th or 25th playthrough. I want to say 25th, but it might be one higher. to the two fingers will i would say it's less the two fingers than it is their their actual way of doing things like there is the greater will but they have a large amount of control over that not to mention the elden beast itself plays a large part of that too which is why it's you know the final boss because it's like the last thing between you and breaking that Satira, good luck on your exam. I'll see you later. Thoughts on when DLC will be announced? I imagine DLC will be either announced or released by the one year anniversary of the game. What was the release date of this game? I can't remember. Late February, right? That would be my guess. Okay, come on, man. Stop it. Spear du jour. This is the tree spear. Yep, you can uh, you can stagger those big things and make them explode and cause a chain reaction. Yeah, very true. Oh, this guy has extra rooms for me. Neat. Who do you think has the darkest and saddest story in the game? Thops. <laughs> My man Thops. Oh my God. 
Oh, jeez, dude. Yeah, Hugh is pretty sad, too. Who's Hugh again? He is the blacksmith at the round table hold. Our resident friendly misbegotten. Smoky and cloudy in here. My man jumped right over me. Grab all the stones. I feel like I missed one somewhere. I don't know why I feel this way. Maybe not? Oh, there it is. I thought I missed one. Like, there should be one in this hallway. Okay, let's uh, take care of this thing. This thing explodes, so be careful. Explode. Oh, yeah, EG is pretty sad, too, because he gets taken out by the Black Knife Assassins. The good news, though, is he does take a few of them with him. Please hold. There we go. Up we go. No, I thought that poke was going to send you flying, and it didn't. Hey, stop it. Oh, good. The spear one-taps them. That's good. Grab this somber four. Run around this side. Ignore the guy mining the wall. There's no reason in bothering him. Unless you need those cracking crystals, or crackled crystals. Cracked crystals. Words are hard. Whatever those things are. Cracked crystals. I don't need them for anything, so we're just going to ignore that guy. The twofer. Oh, you didn't die. There you go. Elden Ring is way easier because poise break. I mean, maybe for you and your your way of playing, but that's not universal to everyone. Like, uh, I find Elden Ring of, to be a fair bit easier for the most part for how I play now too, because I know the game so well, but going in blind for the first time out of all of From Software's games, this was the most difficult out of all of them for me. I didn't struggle nearly as much on any game that they ever put out, including Sekiro, like I did in this game against Melania and Malekath specifically. Everyone's experience is unique, and that's the beauty of it. Just trying to lure them up the stairs because it kind of funnels them in. Oh, come on. There you go. There you go. I just Goomba stomped that guy. Yeah, 
Yeah, Millicent's quest is pretty sad. I agree. Random question. What's your favorite build? I have two builds that I made. One is a Black Flame Monk using God Slayer's Greatsword and a bunch of uh, Black Flame incantations that I find fun. As well as uh, I made a build using Dragon Communion incantations with Mariah's Executioner Sword, and that was a blast as well. I jumped right over you. Give me that. Thank you. Is Dex strength build weak in Elden Ring? Dex and strength together? Uh, there's some weapons that actually do okay with that, especially if you change your weapons to, uh, what's it called? Quality. So that way it scales, you know, evenly on both of those stats. You can make some pretty powerful builds out of that idea. <laughs> Goodbye. Ah. All right, come on, man. Stop throwing shit, would ya? Oh, yeah. All right, don't forget about the lost Ash of War over here, which allows you to duplicate any Ash of War in the game. Very good. Very nice. Least favorite builds? Um, I don't really know. I don't think I've made any builds that I didn't enjoy. You got these builds uploaded? I have singular playthroughs of them, yeah. Um, my Black Flame build was the all boss. No, 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 hold on. Um, what was the Black Flame build? Look at this. You can summon some people here. This is, uh, Braggart. And this is, uh, what's his face? Bullgoat, man. I can't remember his name. Tragith? Something like that? I can't remember which playthrough my Black Flame Monk was, but, uh, I do have a playlist labeled Dragon Warrior as well. So that's where you'd find that one. die here. I lived. It's in the lizard dick. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was my DLC prep playthrough. Yes, that's where it was. The DLC prep playthrough. So that's, like I said, that's the character I'm going to be using when I go play DLC. Because I got all the items or I have immediate access to all the items in the game with that character specifically. Here, Dark Souls 2 was bad. Dark Souls 2 was a great game. Uh... It, it's it, I describe it like this just like many others it's a great game but it's a bad Dark Souls game it's still worth your time and your energy to check it out 
Just don't expect usual Dark Souls stuff out of it, because there's a lot of mechanics that are just changed in that game. Still a good game, though. Is that who you're playing as during the member vid? Yeah, yeah. That was that character. OP, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go use the bathroom real quick now, guys. If you haven't already, leave a like on the video. We're almost at a thousand likes. We're, la we're 95 likes away from a thousand. If you haven't hit the like button yet, yeah, make sure you do. I'll be back in just a minute, guys. Don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, listen, 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 are you ready? I got myself one of them beautiful Arizona green teas. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Delicious. Delicious. Are you going to play Sons of the Forest? I'm definitely going to check it out. Yes, I'm very curious about it, especially now that, uh, man, I used to love survival games, and then there's a whole bunch of terrible survival games that came out over the last few years, and so I lost my interest in them. But now, now there's a whole bunch of great survival games out and are more on the way, so I definitely want to check out Sons of the Forest, yeah. There's also one called uh, The Day Before I want to check out. And one other one that I can't think of just now. We got Lance Axe to go away. Yeah, Alien Isolation is amazing. Sponsored by? I have no sponsors. I am sponsored by you in chat. 
I am sponsored and purely growing based on what you guys support my channel with. All of your likes and comments and subscriptions all help out my channel grow. I have no monetary side uh, sponsors. Josh, have a great night, man. I'll see you later. I've been waiting for you. Give me your hand. I will pray that you follow the same path as Lady Tanith. Yeah, spears are excellent. I agree. Is it Voya or Voja? Am I saying that right? I'm sorry if I mispronounced it, but thank you for joining me. There's something st strange about this girl. Snake Goral, best Goral, okay? Snake Goral. So yeah, my channel is growing and is being sponsored by you folks. Everyone here in chat, you guys are responsible for helping my channel grow and allowing me to do this full time. Inquisitor Gitsa didn't get in a single swing. Give me the pizza cutter. I'm just going to go over here and grab the map real quick, and then we're going to hop back down to Altus Plateau. So I can go around, grab a, a map, as well as I need to grab the Smithing Stone Bell Bearing 2. We're also going to hit this guy's foot. There you go. Have this one. There you go. This spear is just absolutely dominating in melee combat. Just absolutely dominating. He mad, yeah. Literally madness. And here's this. Thank you. We can hit this site of grace right here before the hand tickles us. Okay, very good. And now we have Mount Galmir. Let's go back right here. And we just need to go a couple places real fast and we'll be on our merry way back over to Kaelid. Kaelid hours very soon. I forgot we're grabbing all these golden seeds while we're out here, too. That's a thing as well. What those fingers do, though? I don't know. I don't really ask them. You ask them for me, okay? We have some fell omen above ground. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Pretty sure that's against the law of the land here, bud. What's your favorite clothing sets? I like the banished knight armor a lot. I love the style of it. I also enjoy the sage set, which I'm wearing right now. And I also enjoy the, uh, the tree sentinel armor too. The Crucible Axe set's also nice. Yeah, Crucible Axe set is good, too. Break time's over.
Oh, the Zamor set's good looking too, yeah. Grinded to get the non altered set for the Banished Knight set? Yeah, the non altered set looks good. Just played through 100%? No. Y'all, yeah, when I get the Solurius tree, I'll be trying it out, Plumbus. I've used it a little bit before. It is enjoyable. But I'll be using it a little bit when I get it. Gotta get to the deep root depths for that. Scale set's awesome. Yeah, the scale set's nice. The uh, fingerprint set's cool. The Raging Wolf set looks awesome. I don't know how many of you guys are the same, but uh, I I very strictly do not care about armor stats outside of poise. <laughs> I, uh, I just use them for the aesthetic. Nothing else. I don't care about the damage negation, the actual armor stats of it whatsoever <laughs> it's just the poise and the aesthetic nothing else matters what are the best black flame incantations black flame fireball and uh the one that puts the wall of black fl black flame around you i can't remember the name of it just now we're here with the fashion not the stats precisely Should we fight Margit while we're here? I mean, I feel like we should. We're right here in the vicinity. Why not? Black Flame Ritual. Yes. That is uh, very good. Outside of that, the Black Flame spells generally are not too worth using. Unless you're just trying to change it up, of course. Come on, then. Have at you. Poke, poke, baby. Ah, the follow-up dagger. Okay. I see you. Come on. Where's my dodge? Ah, oh, okay. All right, dude. Plumbus, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. I really appreciate it, dude. I hope you enjoy the emotes you can use in chat as well as my videos comment sections. Thank you for becoming a member here, man. Very nice of you. Yes, got the full combo. Oh, I thought I'd be able to roll that in time. Wait, why are you walking away? All right. Oh, phase two action, huh? Oof. Time to drink the juice. I rolled early. My disappointment knows no bounds here. Oh, you're teleporting again? Come on. 
I will say this spear does not do so well against him. It just seems like it does very low damage because a lot of it is holy, and I'm pretty sure he has pretty high resistance against the holy. Wait, why did you do that instead of the ground pounds? Weird choice is weird. Oh, it's not often you see that move, man. That's a rare one. Holy. I've not seen that in so long. All right, perhaps I shouldn't have done that in that moment. Oh, God. I whiffed. It's fine. There's a wall in the way. Oh, he's spinning. Oh, yeah, this teleport. Where'd you go this time? He's on a tight leash, isn't he? What's up, Jen? You need to show, the, show you the face? Yeah, I will after this fight. It is pretty glorious. Ooh. Oh, God, we spinning. Hold on, juice time. I need juice. Yeah, sip the juice. Hold on, time to pray. Margaret's not giving me a whole lot of opportunity to land much attack. Oh, that actually hit you? Get wrecked, dude. I think it's time to play greedy and actually just land my attacks, because uh, this is not going so well as far as like timing goes. There we go. Goodbye. It was just time to get greedy. It was time. Alright, you want to see my face? Let me turn on the nightlight for you. Okay, that was a little high. Let me turn this down a little bit here. Um, turn down the echo. Turn down the reverb. Oh, yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, my God. Hi. There we go. Use that voice changer for it. Yeah, so what we did with this character, this is actually a chat-generated character. I started a new playthrough, right? And what I did, what I did is I requested chat to give me numbers from 0 to 255, as that's what the slider, all the sliders scale on. And then I would just look over at chat, and the first number I saw from someone in chats, um, I would put for, you know, each, each slider. And this was the final result. This is the chat waifu. Yeah. The chat waifu. You want this on a body pillow? Oh my god. Love to see a past version of Caleb before it went through its mini apocalypse. That would be something. That would be something. All right, let's go over to this tunnel down here, grab the other smithing stone bell bearing, and then uh, get back over to Kaelid. Are you down? Let's do it. My interacting skills are immaculate. Thank you, man. 
I've been a streamer for a long time. I streamed on Twitch for six years, and then I moved here to YouTube about ten and a half months ago. So I've had a lot of practice with streaming. Would likely be like Limgrave, but I'm sure something unique could be done with it. Yeah, I, I, I would imagine based on it being adjacent, like uh, altitude wise or altitude wise. Wow. Latitude wise. It'd be like Limgrave. Altitude, latitude, eh, you know, same letters and stuff. It's fine. I didn't want to fall there. Shoot. Hey, stab. I'm sorry. Interact with me, Jush Senpai. Well, the first thing I'm going to tell you is that uh, it's an N, not an M. The next thing I'm going to tell you is please don't call me that. <laughs> We got this. Now we can go turn this in and go level up our weapons and stuff. Oh my god, I had so many, so many things. Now, come on. Oh, right. It's in here wondering why it's not working. It's because I didn't complete the dungeon. You big dumb. Yeah, you can get some smithing stone fives there. Yeah. Who drops this spear? It's a, it's an out in the open world chosen one. You don't actually find it on an enemy. You find it a right here. Basically, when you get to Liernia, you can go up this slope right here and then follow the path all the way down to the south. At the very end, you'll see a troll in front of a broken down caravan and the weapon is inside of the caravan. All right, let's um let's try changing up the spear now. I've not used the pike or the lance, so let's try pike and see how it goes. Let me try the pike out. Let's change it up a little bit. Hold on, what are the stats for it? Oh, it requires strength? This is a strength scaling one? Um Never mind. Never mind, I'm not doing that. This is also strength. Okay, yeah. I, I don't really want to respec as of yet. Now, you know what? Screw it. Screw it. We'll do it, guys. I'll respec. Hold on. Let me just level it up first while we're here. I'll respec. But I'm also putting Ice Spear on this, so, you know. It's cold, baby. Strengthen armaments. All right, I need more smithing stone twos. I need 10 of them. Write that down. Time to be born anew, like a sweeting. Yes. Yes. It's time to level up the strength. Back already. No matter. Okay. Um, I have three. I need seven more smithing stone threes. Write that down. Write that down. Seven more smithing stone threes. Seven, three. Hey, Ben. How's it going? seven of these love my channel thanks dude of 
or was it nine? I might I might have needed nine. Back over yeah, you might be right. I might have done that too quickly. No, we're good. We're good. Sure, we'll do that too. Okay. We're all caught up there. We're all good to go. Hey, thank you, Aaron. There's all sorts of new video games coming out in the very near future here, guys. And I'd love to have you here for us. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. Also, we are two likes away from a thousand on the channel. So, uh, you know, if you're enjoying your time here, hit that like button. I appreciate that very much as well. Let's throw that on and then let's toss these spells out because I'm not using them. And then it's time to respec. Time to respec. Where did he flee, my sweeting? I'm right here. Hi. To become rebirth. Yes. Now. All right, 35 of that strength. Let's just put that at 30. Uh, does anyone remember the actual dexterity requirement of this weapon? I can look real quick. Let me let me just do a Google. Elden Ring Pike. It requires 14 dexterity. That is one four. Uh, faith. We can just leave it the default 16 for now. That's fine. And that's exactly level 55. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, time to Kaelid. Poke, poke, poke. Hold on. Oh, oh my God. That's a long stick. That's what she said. Really just shoving it up there, you know? <laughs> right, let's see what it looks like from this. We got some stabs. We got some uh, some more stabs off the side. Okay. You get the first bout. There you go. Here, have this. Okay, never mind. You bite a lot. It hurts. I'm leaving. Very good. Okay. Let's see what Ice Spear does. Okay. All right. Interesting. Let's go test it out in this tree down here. Wait, hold on. Do we have to go back a little bit? Yeah. Hey, man, what's up? There you go. Some stabs. Some more stabs. Here you go. Have this one. Hold on. I got one more for you. Ow, stop. There you go. Aw, oh, man, you poisoned me. I wish you didn't. Now I've got to kill your friends about it. Or they're going to kill me, whichever. You know, this is fine. No, I'm trying to drink the juice, man. I'm trying... Oh, wrong juice box. Wrong juice box. There we go. Have that. There you go. Hey, you want some too? Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know, so he's going to get the big stab. Oh! Man, my character really stabs them pretty low, doesn't he? Or she, rather. Really goes for the low stabs there. Hey, tree, it's your turn. Have this one. Ooh, that frostbite, though.
All right, a little awkward positioning, but we're good. Okay, I'm still sitting in the Scarlet Rot, apparently. Literally toxic. Okay, I can't cure the Scarlet Rot, so we just have to end this fight. Come on. Pain. Get up, men. Get up, men. Let's try this again. Come here. No, no, not... Not that, dude. Come on. God damn it, man! Oh my god. Hey, guy! I've got, like, seven or eight moves in my inventory that I can use at any time, but I'm gonna keep using the same one. Yeah, I'm gonna use the same one again. Yeah. Everyone likes surgery avatars. Yeah. Don't you do it again, you son of a bitch. No. my favorite boss i have a boss tier list on my channel you should check out i do i do indeed have a boss tier list man this stick is very long isn't it is this the longest stick in the whole game i mean it is a pike it makes sense right it makes sense. Can anyone answer a question? Maybe. What do you think is a good level for the Colosseums? There's different PvP level metas. A lot of people go for 75, 125, 150, and 200. Those are the most popular. But realistically, there is no wrong answer to it. It just depends on what you like to do as a gamer. You know, send that back up, but we're going to go this way first. Okay, that just... It misses? Okay, cool. Hey, Mark, what's my favorite area? I like Kaelid a lot. As dark and miserable as it can be, I do enjoy Kaelid. Oh, come on. I want to hit this charged R2 so bad. No, listen. Listen, just let me... No, just, just, just... Okay, this guy sucks. Okay, maybe you're not the one for this. Ah, hit it. No, it wasn't charged, I guess. Okay, go away. You need to, you need to stop. You know, I knew you were there, and I still... Guys, I'm already dead. Guys. Ladies and gentlemen, the imps. The imps. Hey, have this. Yeah! That's what I wanted. The channel's the only one I watch? Well, thank you for watching my stuff, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching my streams and my videos. Hello, sir. Have ice spear. Okay, get wrecked. Oh my god. Oh, you, you want to throw shit? Okay. Here you go. Oh, you too, huh? Have this. Oh, come on. I'm just going to poke you to death. There you go. Idiot. Why am I trash talking imps? Have this one.
We're just going to get the ash by defeating a Knight's Cavalry over in Eastern Lyernia. Right about here at the number two. You can go to the site of grace or any site of grace and basically just pass through this little wooded area at nights and you'll find the uh the knight's cavalry there and if you defeat him you get ice spear you know you just Hate that guy. Hate that guy. Absolutely toxic. All right, is this the one with two watchdogs? It is. Yay, everyone's favorite. Oh, you're getting ice beard, dude. Well, better believe it. Enjoy this. Oh, he do be walking, though. I rolled early. Oh! 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 God! Uh-oh. Yeah, that was a little greedy of me, admittedly. Oh my god, Josh, I need you to dodge. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna need you to dodge those, bud. Why can I not do the thing right now? What happens if I hit L2 with no mana? Okay. <laughs> I get smacked by a watchdog, that's what. Oh god, I missed. Hey, your friend seems to be stuck on you. Oh my god, it's the two he the six-headed watchdog. Look at this. Oh, he do be walking. I hate this fight. Cat dog. Cat dog. Come here, it's your turn. Some good damage right there. We take those. That's what we in the industry call a dub. Oh god, another one. <laughs> I didn't realize he was walking at me. Alright. Well, that's illegal. Damn it, man. Can you give me a minute? Like, even just like 30, like 30 seconds would be great. Just, just a, a little bit here, you know? Oh, they're both walking now. Oh, they're playing leapfrog. Isn't that cute? They are leapfrogging. This guy's walking. 
Once one of them dies, the fight is instantly easy. That's the worst part about this. All right, Jimmy, it's your turn. My God. Hey, screw those guys though, right guys? Right? Screw those guys? Are we all in agreement? Agreement? Can you use crystal darts against them? I believe so. I do believe. Anyways, uh, back on the main path, yeah? Any tips for Fire Giants? Ben, I have a video on my channel that is a guide on how to defeat Fire Giant. Go check that out. The strategy I give in the Fire Giant video is highly effective. Trust me. All right, these dogs are angry. Oh my god, yeah, like, you know what would be great is if the horse would just go, you know? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the raptor puppies. We did, Blue. Raptor puppies. Everyone's favorites. Anyways, here's the, uh, the great sword. The great sword that's actually a colossal sword, so that's a thing, I guess. Headbutted my corpse? Yeah. Um, where is the... There it is. I've got a long stick. My damages. Strategy is one thing, but things start going wrong right away, fighting those harder bosses, and you start panicking and making mistakes. And that's why in a lot of my videos, I talk about being patient and making sure that you recalibrate so that way you have control of the fight again. If you start panicking, then that means you've already lost the fight. You need to recenter yourself, be patient. Don't roll for the sake of rolling. You want to make sure that you're able to center that and make use of the rolls in a proper way. That is a part of a lot of my guides when it comes to fighting the bosses, and I mentioned that in almost all those videos. Be patient. It is your responsibility as a player to take control of the fight.
You just beat Melania? Congrats, man. <laughs> Panic roll responsibly. You see that dragonfly trying to bite me? Rude. We mark it with a dagger at level one. Yeah, I've done that too. This is one agile rat. What the heck? Doing all bosses this run, all remembrances. Not all the bosses in the game, though. It's kind of weird to me that that slash is part of the Pike's move set. That that seems a little bit weird. Anyone else? A slash being a part of a Pike's move set is a little odd to me. Then again, we're not using a pike in the traditional sense either. We're using it offensively when it's meant to be used defensively. So it is what it is, I guess. How are you so good? Uh, this is my 25th playthrough, and I've spent right around a thousand hours playing the game. You have to remember that uh, I'm in a position where I play video games for a living, so I just kind of have that upper hand of being able to spend more time with them. Oh, wrong target, but well, that works. Hope you're happy knowing you got your friend Ice Beard. Hope you're happy about it. Scrabble's here. How was dinner, man? You save some for me? My Nogodric rune? I generally don't use the runes. I don't really use runes. I don't use summons. Oh my god, you're annoying. Stop it. There you go. Stop it. Funny that the sword spear is a halberd. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, realistically, realistically, it makes sense. The line between spear and halberd can get blurred pretty easily. I look at it like this: halberds are more for slashing. They do have the spear tip as well, but in this game, it seems like a lot of halberds are used for slashing and more spears are used for poking. But there is a big crossover between some of the movesets too, so it can be ambiguous sometimes, but that's the general rule that I see. Get to the second boss after Margit's. Um, you just have to make your way through Stormvale Castle to make it to Godfrey. I'm sorry, Godric. Oh, yep, that was a sploder. That sure was a go boom boom. Got the Stone Sword Key, the Wakazashi, and we carry on. You 
keep dying. I mean, there's no better time than now to practice fighting. There's a lot of enemies in Stormvale Castle that you'll find similar enemies to or more of that type of enemy throughout the game. So you may as well practice against them. A lot of the way Soulsborne games work is it's just all about practicing and learning how the ins and outs of the game. And Stormvale Castle is a great opportunity to really get a grasp on a good amount of the enemies in the game. Alright. There's the regalia of yokai. Stormfell Castle is your favorite to explore, right? I do enjoy it quite a bit. It's pretty great, yeah. It's possible to make a run parries only. Um, if you're trying to do 100% of your damage via parrying and reposting, no, because there are some enemies where you simply cannot parry them. A good example is Elden Beast, uh, Moog, um, the Gargoyles. Those are all not parryable. So as long as you're giving yourself exceptions to the enemies that are not parryable, it is possible to do so otherwise. How did that actually hurt my horse? Excuse me? Nakron City is your favorite place? Nakron City is pretty good, man. It's a pretty good area. Had so much hard time with Margit's uh, Velocity. I have a whole bunch of boss guides on my channel for Elden Ring. I recommend you check out when you encounter bosses that you may have difficulty with. I talk about the strategies that uh, I apply with the weapons that I use, but also I talk about the right moments to attack in between the enemy's attacks, too. So that way it kind of helps you understand the flow of the fight. Wakazashi is a dagger, I believe, but it can be power stanced with katana. Yes. It is a dagger, but can be power stanced with katanas indeed. Okay, dude. Millicent's a jerk. Alright, let's redo this fight again. What's your recommendation for an Erdtree shield build? One of the few that I haven't tried yet and seems way fun. Uh, you can definitely utilize some spells that, uh, that you can actually parry with the shield when they come back to you or if they sit in front of you to make it so you can send out the projectile from the shield at enemies to do increased damage. The most popular spell to do that with, I believe, is the, uh, the disc one. I can't remember the name of it just now. Now that that jerk is dead. Hey, come here. 
Stop it. There you go. There you go. Street of Sage's Ruins. No, go. There you go. You recommend the Sword of Night and Flame? Um, it's very good, but I really wouldn't recommend it for like a first time playthrough just because it is a, it is a weapon that generally requires you to spread out your stats more. And I would say you're better off just kind of trying to maintain one specific damage stat. Until you get more experience with the game, you just want yourself to be as strong as possible. And so focusing on one singular damage stat will help you out with that. The weapon can be very good and it can do a lot of damage in a lot of regards, but you're best off straying away from that one for your first playthrough. One of the few weapons I would really say that about. How old are you? I am 35. I am, um, I am what many, many people in the internet world would say old. A change in Ash of War, just like get rid of the current one? Yes, but you get a copy of it in your inventory to use later on on different weapons or if you want to reapply it to the current weapon. Okay, you caught up to me fast. I wasn't ready for that. Can you not kick me? That'd be pretty tight. Oh! going crazy oh, we actually just stopped the entire animation what the hell I've never seen him do that before weird I guess, dude. I guess. My disappointment knows no bounds. My God, did I just put the spear straight through his throat there? Oh my God. Oh my goodness. All right, there's the commander standard.
Am I married? Yes. Okay, let's go down here and grab this map real quick, just so it clears up the area. And then there's a dungeon to the north we can do. You're loving your 30s? Yeah, me too, if I'm honest. I'm enjoying my 30s far more than I enjoyed my 20s. I'll be honest with you, my, my 20s were pretty turbulent. I'll put it like this, guys. Uh, when you hit your 20s, if you haven't already, when you get into your 20s, you realize that um, all the adults that you've ever known in their 20s realistically didn't have a whole lot of idea of what the hell was going on. They just kind of were winging it and hoping that it, the results would be good. That's the reality of it. All right, let's fight this dragon. Let's fight the dragon. Okay, your tail's longer than I thought. My bad. Boop the snoots. Wow, that still hit me? That's absurd. Okay, I need you to get off the horse. Oh my god, I ruined it. I swear, man, sometimes the, uh, the control to get off the horse just does not work. Without much explanation as to why. Was that Daz? No, that was the baby. Let me stab these toes real quick. Oh, get out of the way. Scarlet Rod is killing my horse, man. Yeah, boop the snoot. There you go. What types of games do you enjoy? I enjoy all sorts of stuff, man. Uh, I... I'll put it like this. The only types of games I... Oh my god. The only types of games I don't really play actively are sports games and racing games. Outside of that, I generally give everything a try. some holes in the wings so they have a hard time flying. There you go. Boop the snoot again. Alright, we get to make up for the lost uh, critical hit earlier. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> we'll just poke it right in the right in the cheek. There you go. Anyways, let's go grab this map now. Do I have an Xbox? Yeah. I play on all platforms. But yeah, um, an example of what I mean by me enjoying all sorts of games, there's a few games coming out this month that I'm going to be playing both in video content on my channel as well as live streams. I'm going to be playing Fire Emblem Engage, going to be making videos on that, and then uh, I'm going to also be checking out... Forspoken and Dead Space Remake all live on stream. That's all happening on my channel. And that's just the rest of this month. Can I add you? Sure. Uh, I think my name is just the Josh feed. I 
to give your time to these kind of games and time with your wife. From software divorces many couples. Um, just proper time time management. It's uh, you know, video games can be really engaging, and they can really draw you in. But realistically, everything in life needs a balance. It's up to you as a person to understand the balance that works for your relationships. Something that el something else that goes a long way as well, though, is having a little bit of understanding from your significant other, too. Like, if your significant other just straight up hates video games because they take your attention as well, then you have to understand that that person is likely never going to get over that. If a person that you're in a relationship does not understand that you need to have hobbies as a human being too, you need something to spend your time on to have a good time with outside of your relationship, then that's just going to end up a toxic relationship and you're both going to be very unhappy for different reasons. The best thing you can do is understand that you need to, you need to have hobbies just like everyone deserves to have hobbies. And there needs to be a balance around the things. But I have been in relationships as well where the, you know, the, uh, the other person just hated the idea that I played video games whatsoever. But when I started to make a compromise saying, hey, I'll play video games less, but it also means that I'm going to be having different hobbies and I would start to, you know, like go out with my friends more. They hated that too. So realistically, what it came down to is they just hated that I spent my, any of my time on anything outside of them, which is never a good look. It's one thing to want to spend time with your significant other. It's another to just be completely jealous over every second of time spent outside of that relationship. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Guys, I'll be honest with you. I don't think I'm liking the pike much. We'll keep using it for a while. See if I can get in line with it. But so far, I'm not really liking it. I'm, it just makes me miss the tree spear. Oh, God. Where'd you go? Come here. Yeah, I would say if you're the type of person where you're just really drawn into a video game, then I would say, you know, perhaps, you know, come up with a compromise of sort. Understand that you can set time aside for gaming and then, you know, time for your relationship to hang out, watch movies or go out to eat food or whatever it is that you guys like to do in a, in a relationship that works for you. Me and my wife, we'll, we'll just kind of hang around. So oftentimes we'll play video games together. That's another thing, too. Like me and my wife will spend time playing video games together. So that that kind of is a. That's one of our compromises where we both enjoy video games, but we also want to do things together. And so it's like a great middle ground that works greatly for us both. If you can find some type of common ground around something that you both enjoy, then that really amplifies the experience for you both. Does the spear have a skill on it? Yeah, ice spear. Do you have any kids? No. Am I pregnant? Yes. <laughs> hey, Batosai, what's up? Yo, Hadron, good to see you back. Hope you enjoyed your nap. You have more channels? Wondering, because you said you were making a living on playing video games, and this channel, while well, Awesome Elden Ring Vids, isn't that big yet. Uh, so I streamed on Twitch for six years, Effie. Um, that's the majority of my content creation world. I moved here to YouTube just ten months ago. Uh, my YouTube channel 10 months ago, 10 and a half months ago, only had 3,000 subscribers. And we've grown to 31,000 in just, just that time. So my channel is still growing. And this is why I'm always reminding people that I do play other games as well, as I'm trying to grow my channel around more video games in general.
And so your support on that would mean the world to me. If you could watch my other videos, I, I have a lot of playthroughs of a lot of other games, and there's a lot more coming out this year than it would be covering as well. And it would mean the world to have your guys' uh, support on all of that. But yeah, me and me and my wife have a very healthy relationship because of how we how we work things. And I'm not saying that we are like some type of golden standard, but if you enjoy gaming, try to get your significant other involved in your hobby, whether it's gaming, building models, car stuff, whatever it is that you enjoy doing. And just like you should try to get involved in her hobbies as well or their hobbies, whoever they may be. If you take an interest in their hobbies, you might be surprised at the things you find, a, you know, enjoyment out of. Don't underestimate it. It may seem stupid to you on the outside, but when you really get into it, it might be interesting. Something as simple as uh, crocheting and knitting can be actually a surprisingly good time, guys. Why do I see you as a Wraith main on Apex? No. Uh, when I played Apex, I was a Pathy main. the hardest from software game you played i've played them all and i still think elden ring is the hardest of them specifically because of the end game bosses like melania and malekith i find the game a lot easier now because i played it so much but yeah <laughs> screw you i ain't knitting i mean that's fair i'm just saying in general just naming stuff if your wife likes to go bowling then go bowling. Try it out. You might have a good time. Crocheting stream when? <laughs> hey, I see you chilling, homie. Thank you for subscribing, dude. Oh, I hate that miss. throw him off. My God. My God, that camera. Welcome back, Ben. Hey, Gray Fox. How is your 24-hour cycle of night and day? I hope it's been going quite exquisite. I offer my sincerest congratulations under the subject of your pregnancy, and I wish you luck. <laughs> that was very formal. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yep, I'm pregnant. Not sure when I'm due. I'm certainly not showing yet. <laughs> then again, I don't really know if I am pregnant either. I don't really have any confirmation around this. What's my favorite place in Elden Ring? I enjoy Kaelid. I am a Kaelid enjoyer. All right, my health bar is pretty significant at this point in the game. I think I can slow down on the Vigor stat for a while. I need no more health. Hey Rui, what do you think about Hogwarts Legacy? Are checking that out? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out and see how it is. I'm not quite sure on the gameplay. Uh, some of it looks good, some of it looks iffy, but I'm gonna check it out and see how it goes. If I like it, then I'll keep playing it. You know. What build should I run? Pick a weapon out that you haven't ever used before, and then go get it and build around it. That's the best suggestion I can give. Build around the stats to make use of that weapon and maybe some supporting spells if it makes sense to. 
Have you played Soma? Yeah, Soma's a good game. One of the few horror games that I can actually get behind. How's Dobby taking the news that it won't be the only child anymore? I'm pregnant with Dobby. Yeah. I got that, uh, that frost proc right in time. I have Eldering, but I feel lost. Yep, that's the nature of the game. If you feel lost, then that's completely normal. The best thing you can do is just explore. That's what this game does great, and why this game stands out above so many other open world games for so many players. Just the fact that you can feel lost, and there's so much to explore, it's a beautiful thing. While it may seem confusing now, I, I, I say, embrace it. Trust me when I say, embrace it. Just explore and see what kind of cool stuff you can find. It's an insanely cool feeling when you actually discover things and you can, you know, change up your build or you find like a way to advance forward, all that stuff. It's amazing for that. So don't look at it as a negative. Just, just enjoy the process, you know? God. Can you stop with the rocks, man? Thank you. Thank you. Alright, down here, guys, we do have three Crystallians in this boss room. The uh, the big kicker is they all have Scarlet Rot weaponry. But also, I think right over here, I think uh, maybe not that spot. Yeah, I think it's this spot right here. We get a nice, cool new weapon. A nice, cool new weapon, which is great for us. A Crystal Spear. Nice another spear guys would you look at it just look at it just look at this sounds good Ben enjoy your food Let's do this thing.
build your running spears. That mage is just kind of twirling around behind me, not doing anything. waiting its turn sometimes they do that it's very weird sometimes they all go hyper aggressive other times they just kind of wait their turn and i'm not really sure why a lot of people say that they changed them in a patch but i've been playing this game on every patch and it's always been this way sometimes they go very aggressive and you have to fight all three simultaneously other times you get to fight them one at a time it's very weird and i really don't understand it it's very inconsistent Jen, have a good night. I'll see you later. Hey, everyone. Thank you for 1,125 likes on the stream today. Holy heck. I'm glad you guys are all enjoying your time here. Thank you for tuning in, hitting the like button. It means a heck of a lot to me. Thank you. What cave, cave is that? That is the Celia Hideaway. It's actually part of Selen's quest as well. Hey, Noah. But yeah, out of all my playthroughs, man, ever since day one on every single patch, I've had it go both ways. It's just a matter of <laughs> RNG, I guess. Sometimes it's, uh, it's crazy. Other times it's very easy like that. Hello, other Noah. Hello. When's the hot tub stream? We had the hot tub stream already. It happened when we were playing Valheim. We sat in the hot tub and talked for a minute. Have you tried Daggers Only Run? Yes. I've done two of them, actually. It was actually the first playthrough I ever did of Elden Ring was Daggers Only. Oh, um, wow. I didn't realize the cast did damage, too. Hey. Okay. <laughs> yep, okay. Ice Spear just got good. where you go look at hot tubs on ebay and review them oh that could be interesting the hot tub review well that certainly makes those guys easy you guys all have cracked crystals i don't want any of that business boss here it is a falling star beast the very first one that you can encounter in the game or well i guess the i don't, I don't want to say the very first one but it's the weakest one what levels my spear i think seven or eight. Oh no it's 13 never mind 13 i forgot that i uh, got the smithing stone bell bearing thing okay see you later i guess Oh, 
Okay. Mr. Smithing Stone behind the shack? That will be okay. If I need it later, I'll just cry about it. It's fine. for me, huh? Alrighty, grab the uh, flock talisman. Or the canvas one, rather. You ever crave shrimp fighting these dudes? No, not at all. Where am I from? I grew up in New York. Damages, dude. Oh, wrong juice box. Oh, the hoof can hurt me too. Okay. Guess I should have known. <gasps> no. Okay, dude. Why are you pulling all these moves out in an incredible combo that I've not seen in forever? Why now, of all times? Can I uh, get in here? No? I guess I'm not getting that critical hit, guys. Look at the more carry weight talisman for talking to Nefeli Lou. Um, no. I don't remember where you get the arsenal charm from. May oh, yeah, you know what? It is her over at the round table hold. Yes. 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 After you talk, I was thinking of uh, when you talk to her at Stormvale. After you talk to her at Stormvale, she goes to the round table hold. You talk to her there, you get the arsenal charm. Yes. My brain was doing a misremember. Yes, Ice Spear is from Knight's Cavalry in Eastern Lyurnia. We done a boss guide for the Falling Star Beasts? Yes. Looking forward to Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Um, is that the video game? I'm sure I'll check it out, but I can't say I'm excited about it. We'll see how it goes when it comes out, though. Who knows? Maybe it'll be good. I will say in my past experience, there's not a whole lot of movie games that are very good. But I will say one that comes to mind is Lord of the Rings Two Towers on PS2. Oh, God, yeah, that game is good. Oh, yeah. One of the very few games based on a movie that's awesome. 
Did I grab this? I don't think I grabbed this yet. What is the best character to start with or warrior, as you'd say? Uh, whatever one kind of fits the narrative of what you're trying to build around. There is no correct answer to that. They're all good in their own rights. I would say for me personally, I like Prophet the most because starting with Catch Flame is incredibly powerful. Catch Flame early game is so strong. Catch Flame, without even leveling up your seal, can carry you through all of Limgrave and Stormvale Castle very easily. You play that right now dude it's so good all right how about a bell bearing guys a bell bearing hunter the single hardest bell bearing hunter in the entire game are you down are there any impact spears in the game as in blunt damage or strike damage i don't think so not that i can think of anyway Uh, go away, man. Hold on, do I have a level up on me? I do. I do, I do, I do. What has been an eight? How can I help? You can't help me at all. Yeah, just, just leave, man. Just go away, dude. All right, guys, do me a favor. If you haven't already, leave a big like on the video. It helps out in a massive way, and it would mean the world if you could do that for me. too early. My man really wants to grab me, doesn't he? trying so hard.
All right, that is the hardest bell bearing hunter in the entire game. Hitless with a spear, baby. Let's go. Hitless. He was trying really hard to grab me that whole fight too, man. The whole time, he just really wanted to grab me. That didn't seem hard to me. Have you ever fought them before, Noah? <laughs> They're pretty damn tough enemies. Especially if you try to uh, take them on in full-on melee combat, man. They're just tough. That is the single hardest bell bearing in the whole game. He hits the hardest, has the most health, all that. Team Orts, thank you to two Australian. That was amazing, GFNG. Hey, thanks, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you very much. Hey, Jeff, what's up, man? That was gratifying. Garrett, they give the $2 super chest. Is GG jobs done? Indeed. Jobs done. Jobs done. Come here. Where are you going? Come here. All right, this is somber eight. There's a somber nine down below. Let's grab the map first. How do you get a sword? By defeating Elmer of the Briar at Shaded Castle. There's our Somber Nine, a Rune Arc, Arteria Leaf times two. trying to see is someone in chat named billy looking for help you see i don't see it on my page right now i don't see it currently all right um let's go see if we can defeat this tree as well this tree is one of the harder bird tree avatars in the game too let's see if we can do this ronin they give the ten dollar super chat glad you're feeling better and congrats thank you man have you guys noticed how i've not coughed at all on stream today have you noticed i have coughed a little bit before stream and i'm sure i'll cough a little bit after stream but i've had no no urge to cough at all on stream today for the first time in two weeks feeling good about that ronan thank you for the ten dollars i appreciate the kindness a lot dude thank you Finally healthy Josh is back. I know, man. Let me tell you, I missed it too. All right, I'm backing up there. He's too close to the tree there. Greedy. Shouldn't have gone for that third hit. It's fine. We can heal. We're good.
beautiful. All right, that's like what, 91,000 runes? Yeah, 91,000 runes right there from that bad boy. Heck yeah, easy. Easy. William was asking you if you help him get better at the game. All right, some quick advice trying to get better at the game. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, do not worry about dying. If you die, that's okay. Just learn how to not die against the thing that killed you every time you die to it. For example, in this case, say if I died to that tree stomping me. Because I got greedy, I instead of doing two attacks, I did three. And it hit me with the stomp attack, right? That actually almost killed me. So what I did to correct that is instead of doing that third attack again in between his attacks, I would just do two. So that way I had better survivability. The whole idea of the game is to learn and adapt to the things that kill you. When you do that, you're able to survive better. You're able to land more damage consistently. Not every fight is just a race to trying to make that health bar hit zero. It's more about the endurance of it. It's about being patient and choosing the right moments to attack based on the attacks coming at you. So every time you get hit or die to something, learn why it hit you and use that knowledge to apply to the fight in a better way. Do the Divine Tower? I always do the Divine Tower after I defeat Radon. I don't know why, I just always do it that way. I don't even need this, but I'm grabbing it anyway. Am I going to use Mogwin's Spear? Maybe. And if the first time got stomped by the boss for a few hours, yeah, it is the toughest Godskin Apostle in the game. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a tough one. I'll definitely fight it, though. I always do fight it. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Oh! I forgot you're here. Gotta go. Sip the juice box. <laughs> yeah, Connor, the poison in the ladder. Yeah, it's a dead giveaway. Spears, not great spears. Great spears are a part of this as well. I was using the tree spear earlier, for example. Spears and great spears both count in this playthrough. And I'm level 67 already? That seems crazy to me. All right, let's go do the Sever Jail now. Vike Spear is legit. I do like it, but I just generally do not use it in PvE, just because the madness doesn't actually apply to anything aside from other Tarnished. And so it's just kind of a wasted effort. If you want to use a heavy spear, you can use like a tree spear or anything else and apply greases or ashes of war that allows you to apply elemental effects that way the only thing it's actually used for is the actual fire damage on it but the madness effect is just a wasted status no i generally don't go out of my way to kill that dragon unless i need grail's roar in which case i do not need it so How many hours does your average playthrough of Elden Ring take, and what estimated percentage do you normally complete on each playthrough? I'd say I do right around 70 to 80 percent of the content in most of my playthroughs, and it usually takes me right around 40 hours.
Uh, box of donuts. Everything is fine on my side. No loss of frames or quality or anything. So if you are losing quality, then I would say just turn the, uh, the setting back up. Sometimes YouTube will automatically turn it down, especially if you change which browser window you're watching. Or if you're doing multiple things on your PC or phone, stuff like that. Okay, that's done. Okay. Uh, let me go talk to Mr. Gowry again. Thanks, Becky. Anyone know what stats benefit elemental damage? Uh, arcane helps with bleed and poison. And then as far as uh, all the other status effects, it really depends on where its source comes from. It just really depends on the actual source because sometimes they scale differently. I forgot that somber force sits there. How long was my first playthrough? Right around 165-ish hours, I believe. Alright, there is a death right bird over here, but I don't know if it's considered nighttime right now. It is. Let's try to fight this guy. I hate that that missed. All right. Oof. I hate that missed. Man, the terrain here is awful. Get out! Heal! Thank you. Please. <laughs> okay. We'll take that big hit. We'll also pop a heal here. Oof. This guy doesn't drop the Death Ritual Spear, though he does have that attack. He drops Death's Poker, which is the actual greatsword that they have in their hands. And that attack that he just did right there is something that you can do with it, too. It's really great damage as well. Oh, my damages. Uh, this could very well kill me. Never mind, I live, bitch. Got a little greedy there.
Okay, I wasn't ready for that, sir. Let me heal again. This guy's taking all of my heals. He's taking them all. Alright, use the obstacles if you can to make those attacks not hit you. I just really want to get another knockdown on him. Another stagger. That'd be pretty great. Okay, that was kind of lame. Yep, I can't escape it. I can't escape it. I might die here. Man, the ghost flame is tough. Oh, that's not what I wanted to happen at all. Why'd that happen? I am 1 HP. And I think I'm dead here. Hold on, we got the juice. We drank the juice. Okay, this guy's not giving me any attacks in which I can counter him for any significant damage at all. This is actually nightmare RNG right now. Nightmare RNG in these attacks. Basically one hit and I am gonna die. I can't believe that didn't kill me. I guess I'm a liar. I didn't die there. <laughs> now one hit and I'm gonna die. I have no more juice. And you're doing this bullshit, man. <gasps> no! I didn't see it. I thought it was... <laughs> I didn't see it, man. This bird made me drink all my juice. Man, if I was using the uh, the tree spear, it wouldn't be an issue. Because the holy damage. <laughs> Alright, we go again. Hey, Eric, have a great night, man. Thank you for chilling with me. And thank you guys for 1,200 likes on the stream. Holy heck. Like seems a little wanting. It's because I'm using... It's got frostbite on it. And I, don't, I think these things are immune to frostbite. So it's a bit of a a bad thing there but also i was getting nightmare rng on the attacks there too um the bird kept doing like the uh the ghost flame attacks which are really difficult to actually land any damage in a counterattack fashion so just pretty bad rng for most of that fight specifically once it dropped below half health sometimes that happens with these with the death birds it's just really bad rng what we really need is a couple of the, the attacks that leave us an opportunity to land some heavy hits on the skull. Like that one. And that one. Oof. All right. Oh, all right. I guess. Come on, men. Yep, that attack is bullshit. Oh, and then you're all the way over there. Okay. Drink more juice. 
Got to run away from the ghost flame on that. Can land a couple heavies right here, though, so that's good. Ah, yes, very good. Okay, a uh, little bit of a tree in the way game. Oof. I am just getting destroyed by this bird, guys. I am getting absolutely wrecked by this dude. Full smoking bar. Thank you for the two dollars. Have you ever beat the game with the balls? Um, beat the game with the balls. I'm trying to think of what you mean by this. Are you talking about Marble Madness? <laughs> or are you talking about some type of ball-based weapon in the game, like the fist weapons? I have used fist weapons in this game. I have a whole playthrough dedicated to it. But I'm not quite sure what you mean. But thank you for the $2. I appreciate it. The Iron Balls, you're talking about the fist weapons. I have used those. I used those right up until I got the, um, the, the Star Fist weapons there. They're basically the same thing, but they have spikes on them. Does Arcane raise the tickling poison damage? It doesn't actually raise the damage on it, but it raises the application speed of it. Open has been the toughest to do a playthrough with. Definitely the daggers. Daggers have always been the toughest for me. Finally got the knockdown. I've been wanting my whole life. Okay, apparently I just can't get that critical hits. I'm hitting R1 here and it's just not going. Okay, um, I'm dead. Oh. <laughs> Come on, man. This bird. This bird. Horatio Hornblower, they have the five pounds. You helped me the other day on Godskin Noble. Well, now I'm stuck on Elden Beast. Get the beast down to half health, then I get smashed. I will have a guide out for Elden Beast, uh, I want to say sometime in the next week. But my suggestion, man, is focus on actually dodging the abilities more than applying the damage. Only worry about applying damage if you happen to be close to it. What you want to do is just basically casually walk towards the Elden Beast at all times. But focus on dodging the abilities when you focus on that more than anything else you'll see that it's a it's pretty much a bullet hell fight it's it's not your standard boss fight but more of a bullet hell fight when you really understand that idea it allows you to really make use of the moments when you can strike you just have to get used to the idea that it's going to be a slow fight and there's really no way to race it down quickly most of the time for most builds so just focus on dodging all the attacks. And when you do start to dodge the attacks better, when you do get the flow of it, you'll learn that the fight is actually not so bad. It's mostly just the dodging. Tree Spear? I don't have the stats for Tree Spear because I respect. want this bird to do is do more of the command grab attacks that would really benefit me in a big way if they would do that oh sag
Oof. How that miss? What? Stuck in this shit. What is going on? Thank you, Horatio, for the five pounds. And I hope that my advice can help you out. Damn it, dude. The terrain got me there. Which daggers did you finish the game with during your dag only run? I'm doing one myself, but I'm planning to go with the Reduvia and Scorpion Stinger. So the primary dagger I used for most of my damage was Parry Dagger and Misericord, specifically with uh, Frost on it. And then I used Scorpion Stinger and Reduvia to apply those statuses where needed. But most of the time it was Parrying Dagger and Misericord. Where am I going? What am I doing with my life? Am I going the wrong way? I think I'm going the wrong way. I am. Let's follow the path south. I'm supposed to go east, not west. Death birds suck. Guys, death birds suck. We need to go west. Oh, I forgot about the knight's cavalry here, too. I'm ignoring him. Let's go down this way. We got to go to the other side of the street, the other sidewalk here to avoid that, man. He looks sketchy. Doesn't look the friendly type. Let's hit this while we're here. Stranger danger, yeah. Stranger danger. with myself. Now I'm just playing stupid. I need to find some open terrain. Oh, okay. You're flying at me. All right. My bad. My mistake. I didn't know you were doing that. Yeah. All right. What the shit? I don't know what's happening. Hello? Camera? <laughs> what is the camera doing here? Perfect. We love the frost. That was the command grab attack I've been talking about this whole time, by the way, and he finally did it when I was covered in ghost flame. So, you know, it's perfect. It's great. All right. Yes, very good.
power poke. Oh. <laughs> These damn mushrooms are really messing up the flow of the movement here. It's fine, though. It's fine. Ouch. Oh my god, you turned fast. Uh-oh. Oh! being a jerk comboing all this together now you're just being rude what are you doing get down here i've had enough of your shit power poke i missed we made up for it with a jump attack and another jump attack. Power poke, dead. Okay, that was that was an awful fight, but we got through it. Give me that death poker. Thank you. What a terrible fight. What a terrible, terrible fight. But hey, we got him finally. Hey, Ulf, how have you been, man? Random question, do you have experience with Dark Souls 3? Yeah, I have a whole playthrough of it on my channel if you'd like to check it out. Uh, I mean, I guess, sir. Oh my god, everything in this area just hates me. Everything in the game hates me all the time. I guess, dude. Hey! Look at Tom Brady up there. Look at Tom Brady up there just throwing things that far. <laughs> Alright, guys, listen. I gotta call it a night. It's beyond 9 o'clock. I want to go hang out with my wife a little bit before she goes to bed because she has to be up for work in the morning. Her and I are going to check out the first episode of the new Last of Us show. Yeah, we're going to go check that out and see uh, how it goes. I've been hearing fantastic things about it, so I want to check it out. So that's what we're doing. Uh, but first, I have to deal with this bird. If you haven't already, make sure you leave a like on the video. So that way, YouTube will recommend it to more like-minded folks. I really appreciate it. And of course, if you enjoy single-player video games with a great community of people from all over the world, make sure you subscribe as well. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Uh, things to look forward to. Uh, tomorrow we're doing another Elden Ring stream. We're going to be doing a whole Elden Ring playthrough here. And then um, on the 20th, we're going to be playing Fire Emblem Fire Emblem Engage. I'm going to be making videos on that. And then on the 24th, we have Forspoken. I'll be streaming that. And then the 27th is Dead Space Remake. I'll be streaming that as well. It would be awesome to have you guys here for us. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications, okay? Sound good, everyone? That sound good to you? I hope it does. I hope to have you guys here for it. Anyways, guys, until tomorrow, make sure you all be excellent to each other, okay? Be excellent to each other. I'll see you soon.